and welcome back everybody which is a brand new day will be a brand new victory for a lot of our competitors today my name is Walter Bick I'm joined here by Grandmaster Roland Pruisers this is day two of division three of the online Olympia the games have started Roland are you excited for this Yes, I'm very excited. Still waking up a little bit. So as you guys know, this is the morning for us. So I'm still having my coffee, but I'm also ready to go to learn. Yeah, this is my coffee, by the way. Yeah, th thanks for it. <laughs> and so, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. Of course, this is round four to six today for all the pools in Division 3. Uh, yeah, very yes. Excited. Very, very excited. Exactly. Let us give you a quick reminder on what this exactly is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the online Olympics. Like I said, 163 teams, over 1,500 players joining this event. If you're actually seeing why there's so many rating discrepancies on the boards, it's because the top two players are open boards. You have two women boards, one junior male and one junior female. The top three of each division will go on to next week. And let's look at the division that we have right now. These are the teams that will be competing over the weekend. Denmark, Portugal, Bolivia, so on and so on. I already saw a Go New Zealand in chat. So the Kiwis are here as well. That is awesome. Love everyone to have here. Let us quickly remind the standings of today of how it actually ended yesterday we're now looking at pool a we see that uh, new zealand is now battling monaco we want them to win obviously uh, both teams are still in competition uh, though they're at the bottom but our top three today are albania syria and malaysia Roland, what's going to be the top three at the end of the day for pool a Oh, the top three at the end of the day. That oh wow, that's a that's a really tough question. Well, I think I think Syria and Singapore are going to do very well. Syria is actually an underdog because well, like that's how you like to say it at least. Uh, yeah, dog. Yes. At least okay. So Syria qualified from base division, from division four in the previous weekend, and they are still doing very hot in this pool even though they are not one of the strongest teams on paper. So secretly, or well, secretly, I'm more or less rooting a little bit for Syria. Mm. I'm also rooting for the underdog here. So, okay, my list will be uh, Singapore, Albania, and Syria. Those three are going to be on my list. Excellent, How about excellent. I'm just going to copy yours. I'm just, oh. uh, I'm very easy like I'll that. Take the easy route. <laughs> I'm taking the easy way out. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if the audio is okay, I think the audio is okay, but if I'm too loud, if we'll just do soft, vice versa, let us know so we can fix that because we'll be online for 11 hours and we're going to have a special guest today. Yes, we do. Uh, yeah, so but do you, <laughs> do you want to tell about it? No, uh, you can tell him. All right, yeah, our good friend and uh, yeah, famous grandmaster Jorde van Verreest is going to join us this afternoon. He's going to give us some insight on how he perceives the Olympiad and, of course, how he feels about his chances for the Dutch team, for which, of course, Bick and I are more or less also a little bit rooting for, of course. Yeah, and if he's, if I'm ever going to be uh, selected for the Olympiad team, that's, of course, the main question. Of course, they'll, they'll, they'll pick you before me. All right? I think that's a, that's a big... Uh... Yeah. that's a big thing for you, you know, um, just yeah. so you know big of course thing. i will never i will not be selected because there are a lot of good players who are higher rated than me and who are just much stronger than me but anyways it's good fun it's a nice joke at least i hope <laughs> <laughs> let's go into the games uh the first one i'll look at here is scott wasteney against pierre villegas it looks like a very oh, these bishops are a little bit uh you know spicy dicey look at this g file i'm just i'm missing one piece i need to rook to go here for bingo does it does that is that something chess bingo that bi chess bingo what yeah you when you have like eight pieces on one file you can like shout bingo uh yeah you could i think it should be a thing chat. gonna be the next new thing i think it should be a thing just let us know um yeah interesting position what's your take on it uh, i think the black is doing doing absolutely great here i'm not too sure what white's going to do here i mean it's 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 very how do you say it's very uh let's see yeah it's very double-edged i would say as well because white has a nice center and a better pawn structure black has two pawns on the g file as well those could become a target at some point but the bishops look mighty strong so 
I don't know. It's a, I th I'm gonna say it already at the start of the the stream. It's oh no! Dynamically balanced. Position. Oh no! Okay, let's go for another dynamically balanced position then. But there's a lot of uh, dynamically balanced. We have uh, Igor Efimov versus Anthony Fker. They are uh, duking it out on the chessboard, ladies and gentlemen. If you have a team that you want us to follow, that you need to see, let us know. We can do that. Uh, absolutely. I think so. Oh, it changed for some reason. Okay, never mind. Uh, huh? Okay. Right. We got some. Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We got the time. We got yeah. the time. We can do. We can do this. I don't know why I changed though. It's weird. Yeah. If I, I if I press this. Yeah. Now it's a, now it's absolutely fine. Thank you. Still. Okay. Uh, all right. That was interesting. Why the knight takes g6? Excellent question. Excellent question. Let's put uh, let's put Rulon to the test. Why can't we play knight takes g6 here? Uh, that loses a piece because of rook takes f1 and queen f6. Hate to see it, Jet. Hate to see oh. it. Thank you for that question. It's a nice warm up for the morning. Look at you. Look at you. Putting you for the test, man. Putting you for the test. All right. Well, you always put me to the test. So uh, that's what I do, baby. That's what I do. Uh, knight c2. Uh, is that a good move? That's a good question. Looks very, very scary. I, I don't like White's position. It looks very, very shaky. I mean, can you not already make progress here somehow? I mean, a move like bishop f5 comes to mind. Bishop uh, f5 looks very good, yeah. B2. Um, you can take on e3. Knight d2 ideas. I think you should just take the pawn on b2. I think that's quite clear. Uh, it's a free pawn. Free that's pawn. always good. Uh, so something else that we can do. It's really unclear though. I, I mean, mean, there's so much pressure on this e3. Yeah, I'm file trying as well. to do that somehow, but I don't. I don't see how a move like knight d2 doesn't work. You simply play rook f2 or rook e1. Well, if you take here, you take with the knight, and you have queen b6, and you have a nice pin, and this could add some extra pressure later on. Not just rook going e1. back. Just rook e1. Uh, yeah, this one I, or the one? This one does matter. Either rook. <laughs> Either rook. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, still. Yeah, all right. Even, even there, black is simply. Queen take b2. Very nice. This normal move, rook a b1, just. Uh, queen takes a2, actually. Yeah. 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 You're just grabbing pawns. A yes, sir, would be proud. Yes, yeah, baby. Yes, sir, would be proud. All right, so let's see if we got some interesting stuff. This is kind of interesting. What kind of opening is this? The oh. Dutch? This is the first time we see the Dutch. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure if I'm too happy about that. Because this looks really good for... Okay, bishop. Oh, okay, black got the bishop pair. Okay, okay, that's not bad. Yes, so you're, you're content with this? Mm, I'm not too sure. I think white's... Yeah, I think black is more or less okay, actually. Just g6, bishop g7. Yeah, your normal okay. Dutch shenanigans. Yeah, just... Uh, I think black is fine. I mean, if it if the white still had the dark square bishop, then it would be a bit more difficult, but... Uh, with the bishop gone, I think black is good compensation for the for the center. Yeah, I would be content. I would I would wouldn't mind playing this. So you just play g6, bishop g7. Um, you have to oh, be you would uh, defend this e4, just e4. Just e4. That yeah, makes sense. Knight yeah, like d4, bishop g7. There's no good way to enter for white. So just take. you don't. Oh, you can just take this. Yeah, and like this. No problem. No problem at all. Well, I wouldn't play queen takes d1, but. Yeah, just maybe uh, c6. All right. Looks scary though. It's a scary pawn, man. No, it's, it's safe. You can castle short. the The bishop on c4 has no pro, has no has nothing to add there. All it's right, okay. very nice. All I would right. love to play a position like that. All right, all right. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take all right. it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now, ladies. Hey. <gasps> I found one. Nice. Yeah, baby. Oh, there we go. Who's better and why? This is your cup of tea. Um, white's better because they, I mean, she has a lot more room on the king side, and this knight is horribly misplaced. Yeah, so as in 
Malaysia versus Japan. Could be going to F5 eventually or F7. Uh, but still then, there's not much to it. And here, I don't know, the E4 square is so strong for white now. This is... Uh, I'm not sure if a 5 was even a good move here. At the end of the day, so... E takes f5 looks good. I mean, you would love to have a square on e4. No, that. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure if f5 here was a good move. That's what I'm saying. Uh, because well, you give else? give such a strong move. Well, uh, I need to create. So some. I wanted to go knight f6, knight h5, knight f4 because this oh. pawn is already the diagonal towards h5 was completely blocked. That looks good. That looks good. Yeah. And then you yeah. can start pushing h5, h4, and then you play f6 eventually to get the other pieces in. It's a lot of arrows, but that's... Uh... Yeah, I, I see where you're coming from. Yeah, knight of 6 knight h5 looks like a good idea as well. But I think you do have to play f5 at some point. Uh, so it, it's, it's very true. logical what black's doing here. But yeah, white is just... The, the main thing in this position that strikes me is the knight on b7. Yeah, it's the it's first thing I pointed out. Yeah, that's just a very odd... Uh... Yeah. A it's very not... odd thing. If the knight was on g6, then black would be fine. But with the knight on b7, it's clear that uh, white is, has the better position. Yeah, it's, it takes Whatever. like two moves to go in there, and even then it doesn't do anything. Except no. looking at her own pawn, so... That's a yikes, chat. That's a yikes. But, you know, we uh, we believe... We believe in the King's Indian. Yeah. Uh, by the way, just a reminder, everyone, the ratings you see on the board are the chess.com ratings and not the official feeder ratings, so... Keep that in mind. If you're interested in the ratings, let me share a link in the chat so that you guys, the Twitch chat, by the way, so that you can follow that if you're interested about the lineups. If it's, uh, I'll try to keep you updated if necessary. And here, white's a full piece up, by the way. Easy peasy. Not five, you win even more materials. How does that happen? Sicilian, easy Sicilian. They trade it, nothing too crazy. E4. Oh! Ah, uh, and D takes C3 is not possible because of Queen takes C3 and C7. Yes. Nice. Well done. Well calculated. Yikes, 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 yikes. Boom. Yeah, you Boom. Don't Boom. want D4 Boom. to be allowed, anyways. Yeah. Oh, or that. All right. Yeah. Everything wins. Everything wins. Yeah. All right. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Um, let's see what else we've got for today, ladies and gentlemen. This looks like an interesting one. You hate to see this for white. Yeah, you do. The bishop on h3. If if the king was castled, I think white would be more or less okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah, with with that not being the case, black is doing. And also, there's a rook on b1, so white cannot castle anymore. It's not the worst. You need to just get your knight to f4, but there's also a pin here. Yeah, exactly. This is a, such an annoying position. Can you play e5? Now it's quite a move. Oh, you could play g4 and queen f3, perhaps. Yeah, g4, queen f3 is a good idea. After g4, you have to play something like... I don't well, know to support this. You can play e5 anyways, I think. You can play e5? Yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <clears throat> so I had to, I'd have to play d5 here. Yeah, c takes. Probably. I mean... I Bishop is pinned, so yeah, the bishop is pinned as well. Consider bishop g2 there, but yeah, all right. Instead of e5, maybe maybe another move. But no, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good position. This looks okay, at least. It's an interesting one. So I like g4. If if not g4, you could start with b4 maybe. Get the queen back to I don't know c7. Seems natural. Yeah. But what does it do? Now you can play knight e2 like you yeah, want. Yeah, I wanted to do knight e2, but again, e5 looks very... Right. e5 is the big problem. Here. Yeah. Yeah, I think black is doing absolutely fantastic. Let Brilliant! Absolutely. So we are on New Zealand versus uh, Monaco, I believe? Yes. Yeah. So Monaco... Ah, this is the, this is the last board, actually. Yeah. Yeah, the last board. All right. Okay. And we've got a question in the chat. Can't chess.com include feeder ratings next to the player names in these tournaments? Well, you have to imagine there are 1,500 participants here. So that means a lot of work, first of all. And second of all, it's a coding problem. Uh, and so basically, it's a no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
it's uh, it's very that is very complicated to do. And if if there were if it were only ten players, then we could definitely have done that. But since there are so many participants, that is just really really a lot of work. And also, we don't know which players are going to play. Uh, the, there are different lineups possible for each team. So. Yeah, you can imagine uh, the, the problems that we have there. So it's something that uh, I'm sure we're going to look at in the future. But for now, it's uh, it's just uh, very, very hard to do for just come, unfortunately. Yeah. Hate to see it. You hate to hate see it. it. I hope that answers your question, Mr. Shah Wish Wifra. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. There you go. Uh, welcome. Hope you are enjoying the show. Shah won with RSA. It's uh, SHA is a way to hash something, and RSA is a token generating for to vent authentication. Anyway, um, so knowledgeable, you know that cybersecurity stuff. This is the interesting one. I thought uh, I was hoping some uh, early G5 juicy action. Oh, okay, F5, you have to trade here to go back. One right. very standard E takes E5. Yep, G5 uh, is now the idea. Do you love White's position, Big? This is your cup of tea once Yeah, well, White is so amazing here. This is really, really good for White. You want to push out these knights. The best idea is to get this knight back at d5, because we're just going to make some a few silly moves, mm -hmm. uh, just to show... Uh, I need to... Just to show the crowd what it's about. If you can get your knight at d5, this is a very common uh, setup, this is almost you need to sacrifice your queen to stop this. Yeah. When it, when it comes. So you only have like rookie eight. And even then I don't have to play this right away. I could just start maneuvering my queen to get this knight, who's misplaced. So there are a lot of good ideas here and it all starts with E takes E5 and then pushing G5. So it's a mm. Mm. beautiful position. <laughs> it's a mm. 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 Well usually black is all the current play on the queen side, and that's you know not there's no counter play on the queen side. You have to break through in the middle then at some point with d5 mm -hmm. to get something going. But even that's not really that possible. So, no, black yeah. is black is in a world of trouble. Like. Absolutely. Yeah. So, good stuff. Good stuff. Let me find a position that you're mastering, which is everything except this. <laughs> I mean, you're also mastering except this. this. All, right. all right. All right. Okay. Okay. I worded that. Didn't word that completely correct. Let's go back to your uh, beloved Dutch. Yeah, sure. Why well, not? a6. Do you like a6? Yeah, it's a it's okay move. It's uh, I don't think I would have played it, but yeah, it makes sense. I mean, queen d6, you can keep the pawns now on e5 and f5, and it's good to keep those. a4. I don't like a4. a4 doesn't do anything. Black does not want to play b5. But okay, nice right, to play right. h6. I don't get that at all because white can play knight h4. But okay, bishop b3 played. I would play g5 here. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> let's go, baby. Uh, d2. Okay, this is a bit of a problem for, for black. Just put the queen back and play knight b7 or something. Yeah, you don't want to give up the pawn with knight c4 and knight takes e5. So you do maybe just e4, actually. Yeah, e4 looks good. Open up the dark squares. Yeah. Knight c4, just queen c5. No problem at all. And bishop g7, and you know, it's a very balanced position. I, I like white a little bit more because the queen is a little bit out and about really early. I love the black position. I know you, you're That's biased. You're biased. you're biased, you're biased. You know, I can't. I'm not biased. I'm biased. biased. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's look at this one um, Daniel Gong versus Alexandre Cutoli. Sounds <laughs> Italian, doesn't it? Yeah, Monaco is, is very close to Italy. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I like black here. Look at that. Look at this queen. It's on a stroll. It's yeah, going places. Black is also a pawn up, and the king on e1 cannot castle anymore. No, nope. the rooks are very well centered instead of this monstrosity on h4. <laughs> if I could call it like that. So. Very passive there, but how would you continue here as black? If I was black. Oh, it's black's move right now. Oh, it's not. Okay. It's not black's move, but what would it put that? Well, okay, it's simple actually. Just double the rooks on the default. Hey, I was. You asked me the question. I'm sorry, big. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I, was, I was thinking out loud okay, and also. Okay. So, so, was, so, can I? Can I? Sorry? 
So can I can I give you my answer now? Yes, of course. Of well, it's course. actually quite simple, Roland. We just <laughs> double the rocks on a default. <laughs> Easy. Well, very good, very good. Thank I you, agree. Thank you, thank you. You agree. I already have a result. A a win by black who was up a lot more when I was looking here, but they he really converted it very nicely. He just said, "Well, I'm just gonna trade everything, and there's nothing you can do." Yeah, it's a very good. Uh... Nicely played by Mister Efimov. Yeah, Efimov lost the first game, uh, I believe, against uh, Singapore in the first round. But I think after that, he won every game, so he's on three out of four. He's bouncing back. Did you know? Uh, I saw a tweet from Geary yesterday. All right. Who said uh, that the Dutch team, uh, Team NL, will play next week in the Olympiad? But already our Dutch boys are taking over the broadcast. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> I would like to show that actually, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll have to, during the break, I'll, I'll find some way to uh, to show it. So we'll... Yeah, we are. I mean, Jorde van Verreest is of course also a Dutchman. Yeah. Who will join us this afternoon. Yeah, but he, he didn't know that then. He's talking about... Uh, about us. You and me, baby. Nice. We're Twitter famous. <laughs> Yeah, if Geary knows about us, then then it's a big thing. We are we are huge, big. We're huge. I know I'm huge. Thank you. I heard I heard oh, it a lot. Heard everything, a lot. Is, everything is big about you. Um, big. Sorry. I mean, he knows you. I mean, who could forget that he and I think Dubov were analyzing uh, a game while you were just sitting there <laughs> at the computer. No, I was I was I was thinking along. I was thinking along. <laughs> Yeah, you got on the Instagram, you know, you got some hot Instagram action of that, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. Team and Gearing, best friends, confirmed. Um, let's look at this one. <laughs> Isabel versus Martin um, Dubois. What's going on here? I see uh, check. I want to check. I see a pawn. Give me a pawn. Yeah, but I see a pawn on E3. All right. How do you play this? It looks just equal. Opposite colored bishops, no weaknesses. Um, yeah, I think it's about equal. Okay, we're gonna mate. I would. I thank you for the offer, but I don't. Don't. <laughs> you think about it. Thank you. I'll think about it. Yeah. So I, I want to do something like this, but uh, <laughs> not now. <laughs> but you get my idea. There are some. There's always some tricks in the position, but. It's uh, it's hard to make something. Yeah, it looks very, very cool. But with another great victory for this position, where Chua has won from Hoshino. Seems like uh, she has a massive pawn lead on the queen side, a rook up and a bishop up. That's uh, usually good enough for a win. I'm not that good at chess chat, but uh, I think I uh, I could close that one out. What is this? I think so too. What is this? This looks like a Scandinavian gone wrong for Miss Nicole. It's uh, okay, semi Slav. Okay, semi Slav gone wrong. Oh, G4, nice. Yeah, yeah. Look at that, look at that. Famous sacrifice there. The prep, chat, the prep. Grabbing the bishop pair, pulling the pieces, pieces back. This looks like a very nice game from White. Yeah, this is an absolute beauty. Would you go H A four A five here? Yeah, that's certainly a plan. That's certainly a plan. Uh, Queen G three also in the air. Yeah, I like A four A five. It's very standard actually. But yeah, I, I was first thinking maybe you can play Knight C six, but there's still a bishop. A very oddly placed bishop. Eyeballing C six. Funny enough, but you could also play H four H five. Just just getting some more. Yeah, I, I like Queen G three. You know, I also like. I don't, you don't need to immediately mess up your own structure but it's uh... one thing that's uh, that's concerning me a little is how would you play against f6 when a knight's being pushed back like right now oh yeah. I, I don't mind going to c4 yeah to c4 is fine because yeah. let's say you take i will take with the bishop and i'll put more pressure here the rook will come in it's yeah. uh it's just, it's just a lot better you are much more active than uh... exactly if you have all the space on the position right now how yeah. good is good i'm like 2150 2200 on chess.com not sure how much that says my feed is like 1920 1950 something like that 
Something like that, chat. But you're worth 2100. I am worth a million kisses. Yeah, if only you took some lessons from me. One day, one day. You would be, you would be already F. Okay, now I still want to play A4, A5. Mm -hmm. But first I want to get my knight to F4 before I play A4, A5. Um, so, yeah, you want to mate on B7. So knight D3, I don't know what. Let's say a silly move, knight D7. Oh, maybe knight D7 is a good move. Okay, never mind. Play knight B4 after that, perhaps. Yeah, also. Knight B4. Threatening knight A6 as well. Yeah, there is a lot a lot of stuff all going. No, not knight. Yes, yeah, even knight A6. True. There's a pin going on the, the knight here. There's a lot of great moves. Yeah, you're just... You have a lot more space here with white. And you can just slowly, slowly outplay your opponent. Absolutely. Yeah. A4, A5. Really great idea, by the way. Hmm. Who's better in white? Um, I think white. First impression. White seems better. Uh, this bishop isn't that awful because after bishop of eight, he's actually quite okay again. Mm -hmm. Bishop uh, a six is also a good move because his f four pawn is a little bit awkward. Yep, bishop so, a six is annoying. You have to play a move like queen d two then. That's yeah. So this is not the main issue. I think the main issue is just the space advantage that white has. Uh, in the center and the open rook file so yeah. you need to play this to get the rooks exchanged you need to play this to get your bishop active uh, but besides that i think small plus for white but yeah, it's not so clear how how white's going to continue this i think something like knight of one knight e3 would be good and maybe something like c4 then yeah yeah I, there's a lot of pressure on c4 ah, some pressure but bishop h6 adds white to move actually so knight of one would be my move here knight of one would be your move yeah then i would uh, take it off the board i think well then i would be very happy that bishop is quite strong so king takes i mean i agree but now i'm gonna go queen d7 get rid of that uh, i'm gonna trade these off or i'm gonna go for f4 yeah it's it's very solid black is very solid yeah these but I, I i agree uh yeah, black has the bishop pair, and now you don't have the bishop pair anymore. But I think you need to trade before you get this Apple, in. Apple, though, good morning to you too. Someone in the chat said good morning to me. Not even to me. Disgusting. Yeah, not even too big. No. <laughs> what is going on Come here? On. Come on. Um. Yeah. What's going on? What uh, the... Black's a piece up at the moment. Oh wow. Yeah. This is over. Was this the weird? Oh, this is just a weird opening. Oh, this position, yeah. Okay, so black, uh, black, uh, black broke through. Yeah. He has this one. Knight g1. Mm -hmm. You hate to see this. Holy oh. moly. Holy moly. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna see. This is the first time we see a checkmate happen live. Yeah. It's true. Uh, well, today. 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 Okay. It's true. That's true. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's move on to, let's say, this is also an interesting. Look at this. Yikes. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, this this was another position. Yeah. yeah. Where we just determined that black is, black's doing well. And yeah, putting, ah, uh, doubling up on the default. Hey, you were right, uh, Vic. <laughs> How can I, you know, I'm just so amazing. I am incredible. I'm just, I'm just so amazing. I'm outrageously good. <laughs> okay. Would you take on d5 right now? On d5? Ooh, I like to. Yes, I would. Yeah, I would take in a heartbeat. Yeah. Because you're going to lose this bishop. Speed of lightning. Holy moly. No, okay, get free. Get rook d3 then. Oh, rook d3, my man. Ay, 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 Hate ay, to ay. see it. That hurts. New Zealand's carrying the wind, they sure do. Hey, another... We see a lot of live action, buddy. Yeah, we do. Literally. And there's another... Yeah, this one is uh, pretty over. Tunisia? Uh, I think no, Tunisia. That, that's Albania, I'm sorry. Um, We have a nice ending here. One, two, three, four. One, three, four. So it's equal position. Mm -hmm. White is better because of this beautifully placed king that cannot be kicked out. Yeah, and it's exactly uh, in the center. How would you how would you try and push here, though? It's, it's a good question. That's a good question. So, white pawns are all on light squares, which is perfect because it's a dark square bishop. Uh, all those pieces are on light squares, 
if you can see this chat. So that's actually really smart by White. Uh, and now it's just the thinking of how am I going to penetrate? I want to have I want to put a knight on e4 actually. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking that as well. But the king is also maybe d5, so you can push c7. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, or d5 indeed. So you can so get your knight. Yeah, if you get your knight to d5, I think your winning chances are pretty good. And now bishop b6. I don't like knight b7. After no. Bishop Six the knight is trapped. Yeah, that's a really dumb move. Uh, that's a with really. All, dumb move. With, all, with all due respect, <laughs> you're dropping your own knight and. Uh... A4, a4, I guess just a5, and then it's. Uh, yeah, it's not much. Or, yeah, I don't know. a4? Yeah, I think a4 is good. So easy. I, I don't think you can play a5 here. I mean, maybe. Uh, maybe you just play h4, but then a5, and then bishop c7 back, actually. Yeah, because knight c5, king d6, you win the c6 pawn. Yeah, that's a good point. So we don't want to do that. I need to spare Kali of us, the godfather. Give us some love. That's what you need to do. But yeah, uh, I was just saying, chat, if you can get your knight to d5, so let's uh, make some awkward moves, because it takes a long time for the knight to come to d5. But let's uh, mm. just show real quick how that looks. Uh, if the knight's on d5 in this position, first of all, if the bishop wasn't here, uh, you need to start defending and c7 and this. And now you can start trading off. This is a clearly winning position. Getting the knight to d5, not that easy, because you need to be on the dark square first. And the only places you can be are here and here. So black can definitely uh, stop those kind of ideas. But that's what you want in this position. We went another route. And now we are here. Mm -hmm. C7, wait, knight C5. I guess white's still okay, but he lost the pawn for nothing. Yeah. Yeah. But okay, it's still a draw. The king on E4 is brilliant. So knight D3, king E6, knight C5 would be a good way to draw here. Or would you still play for a win here as white, uh, big? I would play for white. You have nothing to lose. Uh, the black king cannot enter any of these squares or here. Well, how would you push that? That's a that's a good question. I don't think you can. Push. Yeah, these yeah. are well defended. This is your only pawn that you could yeah. win, quote unquote, no. and it's the well, yeah. is a draw. King f five, king g four, then the king is the black king is gonna come to d five. So I think this is just gonna be a draw. Yeah, good repetition. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Uh, we have some finishes. We have a draw repetition at this one, the knight of three, king c one kind of idea. That's uh, a draw for Scotland versus Monaco. Mm -hmm. We have a, uh, ooh, a win for Tatiana versus Nicole. Look at these, uh, look at these pawns, baby. Yeah, well done, well done. We have a, a win for Albania versus South Korea. For Frank. Look at that. That's gonna be a mate, it seems. We have a win here by timeout. Yeah, that's, I don't think there's a lot black can do, unfortunately, because yeah. even after Queen D6, just to take... trade this off. Yeah. Uh, these pods are gonna promote. One of these pods are gonna promote. So, yeah, hate to yeah. see it. Yeah, and we have TJ Chess here. Also a Don Zo with a nice pawn going towards the end. And there is no perpetual queen in one. We're gonna hide here, and there are no yeah. more checks. Exactly. A few games left. Oh, this one is in the time trouble. Black looks very good. Look at that square on e5. Yeah. Let's Look go, baby. On e3. Oh. This is delicious. Bishop takes b3, wins a pawn. Oh, no, does not win a pawn because it's with check. So you need to be careful. Oh, that's a good point to point out these things. Or was c4 played, really? This is with check, unfortunately. Because <laughs> so you oh. can't take the bishop back. Yeah, or the rook on c1. Yeah, right. c4 has been played. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Or <laughs> really beautiful move there. Yeah, and this is completely That's over. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Because okay, white can we go back to that move yeah. for a little bit? Because if you take with the D pawn, now it's uh, now the knight has a nice square on C five and on E five. And that was not possible before because White could take the pawn on C five with the queen, creating some counterplay. So this pawn sacrifice after knight C five, that yeah. was actually brilliant. And up okay, and white of course blundered with uh, B takes C four, but uh, still. he's gonna lose. The knight here, yeah, this is uh, 
Yeah. Gotta be over a Range Rover, chat. That was really well done by the South Korean player. Let me check this person because I'm curious to see. This is actually the last board. And uh, the black player has a rating of 1,010. Nah, she must, she must be way stronger than that if you can play a move like C4. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Queen G1. Look at this. This is this is also odd. Look at this. Queen G1 doesn't even take the knight. Goes for Queen E1 to take the rook. <laughs> well, yeah. Sometimes it pays off to... Very... Uh, further, you know? Impressive. Very impressive. Yeah, I mean... She is. Uh, she has potential. I mean, her rating on the on the chess results page is uh, is not accurate. I'm I'm 100 sure. So we have two more uh, endings. This is gonna be should be a win for Black. Um, Though not easy to uh, to close out. It's not so easy with uh, with opposite colored bishops. Yeah, we talked about it yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's kind of hard to to win positions like this and. If the pawn on g7 was on g3, then of course it would be winning. But since the pawns are not connected, black's going to have a hard time. Uh, actually, rook a3, rook takes h3. Isn't that just a draw now? No, no, no. It's not a draw because you have king f2. No. Hate to see it. Oh, could you show that? If yeah, you yeah, yeah, king yeah. F2. King, king f2. f2. And you cannot take the pawn because of rook d1, king h2, bishop e5. Hate to see it. Yeah. Oh, rook g3. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Okay. Yeah, unfortunate. I was looking a long time for uh, something like bishop e5 first to get yeah. this kind of baiting sequence in, but never had the time. And now we're here. Yeah, this is a draw now. This is a draw. They're going to play out till the end. I'll be yeah, here. You can play on with... Uh, if, if white takes the pawn on g7, has to take that for in exchange for the bishop, then, then well, the famous rook, of, rook and bishop versus rook ending, of course. Yep. You can play that on and on. Now, yeah, be careful about rook d3 ideas here. All right, we're gonna. This is also an interesting position. There's a lot happening on a lot of boards. This is uh, Malaysia, I believe, versus Japan. Looks yes. Over. Black is uh, storming down. Yeah, when I was looking, when I was clicking on it, this move was just played, the queen to h4. So I was like, hey, this is a, uh, this is an interesting one, but. Yeah. Down here very fast. It was interesting a few moves ago. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, let's see on this side of the board. We have black a little bit better, I would say. Especially if you get the rook on this file. You can be a lot nasty on the H file. Well, um, rook f3 looks also pretty tasty. Oh, absolutely. And you are a pawn up, so... Let's see what white does. Well, maybe queen e4. With the idea, if you play rook f3, then you play rook d8. Yeah, good point. So let's not play that. Uh, let's play queen f5. Looking at f2, trying to exchange queens. Well, I mean, the bishop on b2 is better than the bishop on g7. So white still has some chances to make a draw here. Oh, absolutely. My, my idea is to get the bishop over here. Obviously. 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 So rook okay. d7. Oh, <laughs> still, yeah. You don't care. Oh, I don't care. Ah, you want to play... Ah, you're threatening bishop e3 and rook f2. Aha! Uh -huh. ah, that's sneaky. That's sneaky. So now I have to... Yeah, then rook d7 was actually a mistake. Right? I have to play... What do I have to play here? Maybe rook d5, actually. Uh, rook d5 also looks good. I think I'll still go for this. Oh, no, e5 is a little bit too... Uh, yeah, I'll get a little bit too, uh, too hasty. I probably need to get to e6 first. Yeah. yeah. Okay, black's, a, black's in the money at least, you know? Exactly. If he plays queen of five. Now, rook f1 is played. Rook f3, rook nice f3. answer. Okay. But, um, what do you do here? I mean... Take and queen e4 again? Yeah, you're going to try for a perpetual. Queen on h5 is stuck now. And also the bishop on g7. No, rook f3 was not good. I think I think taking was the right idea. Just Taking, take, and if it takes with play. the queen, you go... Queen... About uh, a five down. Yeah, queen g6, I guess. Queen g6, yeah, yeah, looks really good. Normal, then queen e4. Looking at all these squares queen here. Two. Yeah, stuff like that. Quite beautiful. Uh, didn't happen, so rook f3. Queen g2! Whoa, okay. I think you can finally release the pawn then. 
Uh, yeah, now it's now the rook on f3 is great. Yeah, now uh, now it's now it's very good. Yeah, the queen g2 was a very uh, dubious move. Yeah, I guess rook f3 looks a little bit scary, but after queen e4, you're actually really good. Queen g2 doesn't. Yeah, and I think e4 is placed. No, not yet. We're gonna see if e4 is going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so a few games left for the rest of the... Yeah, and on the left, guys, on the left of the board, you can see oh. what the current uh, standings are uh, in the matches. So everything is decided, it seems, except for the Ireland-Syria match. So let's see if we can maybe find some games of that one. Uh, Ireland-Syria? No. No games left? Okay, so... Yeah, there's we... just three and a half, two and a half. They're done. All right, so every match has been decided then. The results have been updated, so there you go. Three games left. We're going to see which one is going to be the winner winner. Chicken dinner. Eventually, Bishop h6. These have been traded off. The pawn up. Is there a mate here? Check. Well, not a mate, but... Go here, 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 here. I mean, this leads to mate, right? At some yeah, point. Yeah, it's mate in two. Queen of three. Or mate in three, sorry. Yeah, so Bishop e3 is a... Uh... Strong put out of here. What about king of what? I mean, you're just, you're just going to lose this with check. That's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, I hate to see it, chat. You hate to see it. Uh, so this is going to be over. This has ended in a draw. Didn't really look at this one, unfortunately. And uh, this is the uh, the good old pawn ending. I think white is superbly placed. Mm. Oh, oh, what? Wait, what? Okay, yeah, play rook. Not, uh... not stillmate. It's not stillmate. The king can just go. Oh, <laughs> man. You yeah, hate to see it. Oh, boy. Yeah, now it's over. Just. Um... Well, okay. Rook g1, rook h1, rook h2. And bishop Oof. d4 and g2 looks something like that. Yeah, this is uh, this oh, one should be I over. Don't like what blacks? Oh, it's mate. Oh, bishop e three. Bishop e three, of course. Oh, nice move. Bishop e three to get yep. this going. And, and uh, g one. There's nothing white can do. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yep. Good move. Was he gonna play it? Yeah. Bishop e three. This one is over. This one is over. The South Korea game specifically. I think uh, yes. I think if you go to events, the events tab of chess.com. You can see all the games being played, I believe. I'm not quite sure, actually. Is there a way to just follow the Korean games? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think uh, I'm not 100% sure exactly how. I think you just have to go to chess.com, like you said, and tap the tournaments page. I believe they're also in Chess Bomb, the, the games, the Chess Bomb. And then you can also, uh, chessbomb.com, and then you can also sort them by yeah, we do have a command. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. No, it's not about following the games, unfortunately. No. Uh, we can check that for you. So let, let's get back to our guys. And yes, after this game, we're going to have a short break anyway, and we can figure out if we can help you, good sir or madam. This one is over. Well played by Black. All the games are finished by now. The scores are being updated. Yeah, you have to. All right. Yeah, they are there, chat. They are there, but it. Uh, we'll get you after this. Let me unfollow the game so I don't get a whole list of people randomly playing. So, chat. Uh, thank you so much. We'll be back in six to seven minutes, where we will review the standings and we will go back with round two of the Chess Olympian Division Four. See you guys in just a bit.
And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it took a little bit longer than usual. I apologize because I had to add some Twitter feed awesomeness. Uh, so let's look at that right now. We got a tweet from Grandmaster Anish Giri. Fida Online Olympiad starts in only about a week for Team NL, but our Dutch boys took over the broadcast already. Hashtag Online Olympiad. Make sure if you tweet, use hashtag Online Olympiad. We might spot something cool. We might spot something nice. I look at it during the breaks. Uh, add that hashtag and I might add that during the broadcast like this on wow. the fly. Also, use dark mode on Twitter chat. It's better. It's better for your eyes. <laughs> All right. Uh, that was uh, quite a slaughter uh, last game. I think Ireland won 6 to 0. Uh, yeah. Let's look at the standings that we have going on right now. They should be updated for Pool A. Actually, I'm going to make this a little bit easier. We are just going to look at Pool A for now, so things aren't that convoluted. We see Albania in first, Singapore second, Malaysia third, and Ireland took quite a leap, quite a jump. Uh, one six zero last game, so that's quite uh, it's quite nice for the lads, and we have some interesting matchups in here today as well, which is, ladies and gentlemen, Ireland will be playing Hong Kong, Hong Kong, the lower bracket tier, Syria, Monaco, Syria, uh, and Monaco. They are fourth and fifth at the moment. If we look at the top games, Albania is playing Japan, Japan being a bit lower, Albania being the top dog, obviously. Singapore, Malaysia, the number first against the number three. That's absolutely something that we would like to see. Is that something you're excited about, uh, Huland? Yeah, that's absolutely the match I'm excited about. Malaysia versus Singapore. And uh, the standings, uh, I was I was surprised by some results, actually. So, for example, Monaco on four points out of eight, while Monaco is actually one of the top dogs in this, uh, in this pool. So, yeah, Monaco not doing too hot. Syria, the underdog, performing very well, but losing the last uh, the, in the last round. So they are now also in the middle of the standings at the moment. Uh, yeah, but Malaysia-Singapore, definitely the match to watch. Uh, who do you think is the favorite? Uh, who do you think, yeah, will win? <laughs> uh, I think Singapore is having a very strong lineup, very strong results, so I think they are definitely one to look out for. Let's see if I can find their games off the bat. Yeah. Uh, this is Ireland, Hong Kong. This is... All right, so it's here. Let's start from the top. We do have uh, the legends themselves, obviously. Zheng Zhao Tin versus Wang Ying Long. And this is a London system off the bat with a London system. Yep. Surely there are some... Uh, uh, some Vic, I have a question for you. Oh God! What is the most uh, the most viewed opening so far in the uh, Olympiad? The most viewed opening? Yeah, the most the, the opening that we see most often. Kings Indian. No, that's what I see most because that, that's the only ones I've been clicking. Oh, about, that's so. what you're looking for. But is uh, okay. So in the previous weeks, uh, weekends, also in the base division and the fourth division, it's actually the London. London really has been played very very often it's a very popular on uh, on a level between uh, what is it 1500 and 2200 more or less yeah it's amazing yeah, isn't it how popular that is it's well and i can i can understand absolutely why it's it's easy to play um you're very solid you, you don't really risk anything black has no chances to make make it very exciting here so yeah and of course, Carlson has played it, so why not uh, repeat that? But London is my least favorite opening to play against. I actually have a spit emote on Twitch, specifically designed for when someone plays the London against me. <laughs> That's how I dislike the, the opening, because I always I have a rough time against it. So I'm a little bit biased, Chet. I'm a little bit biased. This is what it is. Um, let's continue. This is a fairly standard opening, nothing too crazy. I'm looking for the juice. Is this a little bit juicy? I think white is uh, black having, lion. White is having a good time here. Once the knight drops to f5, yeah. Look at these beauties. Knight g5 doesn't do too much because it's just an easy castle. Yeah. Yep. Look. Perfect. Perfect. Knight h4. Knight is going to f5. Look at d6 as well. So black has to. I don't even know if you can castle that easy. I mean, knight f5. You can even start thinking ideas like this. Yeah. Yeah. 
the black mm. pieces are not yet well coordinated. You want to play c5 or something, but that leaves the square on d5. Yeah, this knight h4 move is really the big problem here for black. If you don't play that, then short castle, a6, b5 is usually a good idea for black. Yeah. But with knight h4, you, white is really putting pressure on the black position. Like, like you said, queen of three, queen g3 in combination with knight of five. Yeah, very, very strong move. Very, very strong move. Maybe uh, g6 here. And I know it looks odd, but after a castle, rook e8, bishop f8, bishop g7, you're okay again, even though it's uh, a little bit of a longer approach, but you, you stop this knight of five. I, w I want to make a debate. I'm going to play queen e2. Will you indulge me and play short castle for me? Um, no, because I see what you're trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's throw it in there. Okay, I castle. What's bishop h6. Oh, no, I have to run away. Bishop. Whatever will I do? Um, no, let's play queen c4. Doesn't this immediately work? Well, you have knight d5 in the end, so that okay. makes things a little complicated. But now I think uh, you at least win the exchange here. I think I'll just run away. Can I defend g7 with this? Well, that, this looks very, very bad, doesn't it? I agree, I agree. Okay, but his initial thought, chat, was... Uh, that was a very nice... That was very nice, dude. I uh, I really like that little trick you have here. Bishop takes e4 is another idea. And then queen here. You have knight d5 to block everything. He takes uh, d5. The king is totally stuck. You can play knight takes d5. Ye yeet. Yeet. Yeet, chat, yeet. All right, so uh, this is not going to happen on the board, I think. Well, maybe. You never know. Would be cool. Would be dope. And I'm not going to lie. I would like to see it happen. But uh, don't <laughs> think we will. Don't think we will. What is this? What's this? Um, There's magic everywhere. G5. Look at that. There's a nice push on the king side already. Yeah, just knight h5. More or less, there's no action so far. If g6, simply f5. No problem. Yeah, I love this kind of setup, actually. You see this a lot when people play e6 or g6 against you. You can just play f5, get the knight back. If there is a position where you're castled and a knight ends on f7 of white, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it doesn't do anything. So I see that a lot in my games. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I love the concept of g6 to push f5. And everything is yeah. a okay. The concept. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, g6 is played. Let's see, f6 or f5. f6 also an idea because you want to push e5 eventually. Maybe. If you push f5 right now, this is a little bit of a weakness, but nothing to be afraid of just now. At least not for now, no. I like f6 a bit better, actually. It's, uh, yeah, the e5 square could become a little bit weak. So, yeah, it's better to, to put the pawn on f6. Yeah, but it's, it's I mean, not too bad. H5, the knight on h5 is perfectly fine there. I mean, it cannot be attacked by any piece, so... Just f6. Yeah. Well yep. Done. yep. Here we go. Well done. By uh, which board are we looking at? Malaysia against uh, Singapore. So this is board... Let me check. Lee Yu. Moving at Psyduck. So this is board four. Yeah, the second women's board. Alrighty, Aphrodite. Let's see. I see a lot of games where people want to play at knight of five. Or is this the same? Short oh, this is the same. Yeah, this is the uh, short castle. Knight of five. Okay, knight of five looks very, uh, a very obvious move. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we've we've looked at this one. This isn't too extra. Yeah, a lot of knights on the rim. But this is uh, this is also a very nice idea that we could see come to life. Yeah, I see a move for black. What about f5? Knight g5? Take, take, take is f4 good. Something? Oh, you want to play f4? Oh, I'm still going to play queen oh, h5, queen though. H5. Wait, wait. So put a move, few moves back. This is not good. Uh, you don't need to take. Yeah, you can play bishop g8, but then queen h5 is really scary. Yeah, this this bishop g8 looks very... I mean, I'm... Um... Uh, you have queen e8 here. You have queen e8, and then it's uh, then it's more or less okay. Dude, you're playing with fire here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but you have to. <laughs> if your opponent is gonna is gonna is is having uh, yeah wants to put a light in your position, then you have to play 
around with his fire. Okay, never mind. All right, that's that was, <laughs> nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. Nailed it, yeah, nailed it. <laughs> yeah, five looks very strong here, but we're gonna see if we can. Uh... It looks interesting, at least. I mean, if you, if you don't play a five, then white's gonna play a five, and white's gonna have an initiative on the king side. True, so. true. That is why I think you have to play it, even though it's risky. Noella Lomendong versus Sarah Zidon. We have a uh, an interesting oh, position. Oh, that's a that's a free one. It's fine. That's a free one, chat. Can you can you spot the move? It's Christmas. It's no, it's beginning not, not. to look a lot. It's getting some trust. Some trust. Like Christmas. Everywhere you go. Yeah, this is just a free night, chat. This one is pinned, so you cannot take back, and the queen cannot take now because we just take her back. So. Very good, Max. You guessed the right move. And you too, Xandic89. Very well done. Everybody's a winner today, Chet. Everybody's a winner. Yeah. I mean, if Big can find it, then I'm sure. Oh, shut <laughs> Uh Oh, this is a... Ooh. This is a This is a position. That's a, that's a position. Who's better and why? Um, white. White is a pawn up. Yeah. And would you try and play h4, rook h3? No, I want to play rook d1, rook d3, rook g3. Okay, same idea, different rook. Yeah, nice. I mean, nice. the problem with h4 is I give up the g4 square. So if, let's say, in this position, you play it here, I would just play this, play d6, and get my bishop looking at... And uh, f3, so... Or right away, but d6. The, pro the problem is d6, yeah. So that's why queen f4 is a good move. Yeah. So, yeah, and Long Castle? No nah, problem. Ooh, not. my god, dude. Yeah, I'm just thinking out loud. I mean, would the king be better on c1? Because if you play the rook on d3 and white pl black plays, for example, king h8, then after rook g3, you have queen b1 check, for example. Yeah. That's, that's also true. I that's why I want to. Long castle is the better idea of the two. Uh, in which, uh, let me just make a few silly moves so we can get to the position. Yeah, so here, King H8 again. So here, King H8, yeah. yep. And oh, here, King. Black only has Queen B1 check. Which could be annoying at the very Definitely, least. definitely. Because if White plays Queen C1, it's a checkmate. You know, just saying, just saying. Uh, uh, we've, got a, we've got a question in the chat. Why is Ireland in the Eastern group? Well, the groups are divided based on strength and on time zone. So this, it just worked out com in, uh, with the time zone thing. I mean, we have, to, uh, we have to move the countries around in the pools so that everybody has more or less the same uh, yeah. time zone. So yeah, that is why um, yeah, every group needs 10, 10 countries. So. That is why Ireland was placed in this in uh, this group. Can we please look at board five in New Zealand versus South Korea? Uh, let's see if I can find yep, either yep. one of them. I don't think they're loaded in for me. So here's the problem, Chad. I can only see like 25 boards on my site. Uh, but if you would like to see it for yourself, we do have a little of a cheeky maneuver that we could use. Uh, I'd have a look it up real quick. I think it is... Where was it? This one. Chat, this is going to save your life. Well, I mean, not really, but here we go, chat. Let's see, let's see. Let's this is an uh, open Google spreadsheet where you can see all the participants, all their games, all their actual feeder ratings. You can click on that, uh, follow what is going on for your favorite team yourself. So let's look at the uh, the superstars again. It was um, Singapore, Malaysia, I believe. Let's see how they Singapore, Malaysia. all are holding up. Here is one of the games. This is the F5 game. Yeah, looking good. This is another game, uh, Puteri versus Xiangen. And it seems like small edge for white yeah but not space, too much more space more active pieces this is definitely an advantage for white and i think okay white yeah you're right 95 has to be played yeah otherwise white could play e5 on the next move so bishop takes four I would maybe. Say king h2 f4 e5 looks like a really good plan yeah yeah i mean you can also if it's a little bit of uh a mix of move i don't know i always like to push f4 first it's still okay. Instead of kicking 
King H2, if Black is playing something, something surprising, then you can uh, react to that. So I like King H2 a, lit, a little bit better than uh, F4. Fair, 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 fair. But okay, F4, E5, I think White is just having a field day. Black has no active possibilities. Also, E6 is one of the moves that Black wants to play, but that's not possible because of the bishop on G5. So Hate White is absolutely clearly better here. Yeah. yeah White is, has got all the initiative. So let's check which board this is. This is board... This is board three. Board three. Let me check that as well. Yep. You're right, board free. Because free hey. is the winning board, and they have a WGM. Uh, oh, big rating difference, by the way. Uh, well, at least those are rapid ratings. Yeah, on the chess results page, it's the rapid ratings, and it's a 550 rating difference in favor of the black player. Woo! Yeah, but it's not a really good indicator because, well, these are rapid ratings, and there are official feeder ratings. I don't see on the chessresults.com page. So yes. Yeah, but let me, uh, let me uh, remind everyone of what the standings are in Pool A. Uh, we're looking at Singapore versus Malaysia right now. They are two heavy hitters at the moment. Uh, Albania is uh, basing off against Japan. They're doing really well as well. So we're going to see how that is going to work out eventually. No results in at the moment, but we do see a very nice game between Nitela <coughs> Nitya La Kishmi. Versus Young Hassel Liu. And it seems like Black is having a demanding position. Again, a knight on h5. Oh, this is the knight on h5 game with the g6 f6 plate. Yeah, white played e4, but Black is just not reacting to it. If you take on d5, simply c takes d5. Yeah, no we don't really care. Uh, and then the rooker goes in. Yeah, Black, white is also a bit stuck. Um, I think you should play a move like bishop d1 as white to, to defend tricks on the on the queen side here yes i agree and then but black can just play long castle. i mean could you play bishop a3 here if you take you have queen here and this should be made yeah exactly so and if you of... play something like this you have like knight b2 for a double attack after bishop a3 it's bishop c1 probably but then bishop takes b2 even still yeah works. that's uh bishop takes knight uh, queen b4 queen b4 boom yeah. baby so that's why bishop c1 is uh actually you have it's a good prophylactic move to stop these no you, you don't you don't have knight d1 okay all right uh big you've got a question in the chat from Ooh. manir chef why are you never on the stream why are you never on the stream says chef uh, i've been very busy i will be uh beginning a full-time job at chess.com starting september 1st i'm still at my old job and I recently got a puppy, so all my attention has been diverted to that. But I'll be back on my stream soon enough. And uh, yeah, exclamation point host, throw him in there, my man. Yep, I'm doing that. Which so hit follow Mr. Bigfoot on his channel and yeah, get notified. And Mr. Ruland, Mr. Pluisers, what kind of puppy? She usually just walks around here. Um, from time to time so i can show it. it's a uh i saved her from the pound she was she's five months old then uh, i got her for a month now she was a romanian street dog and uh, she's doing actually really well but she is uh, she still has a lot to learn like she eats everything she sees on the ground she pulls out trash bags because you know they're used to i need food or else i'm gonna starve so uh but yeah she's uh, she's a sweet all right, let's look at this. This should have been uh, this should be a win, right? If I'm gonna yeah, did she play rook takes a five, it seems like it. Yeah. Okay, looks like a win for Nula or Noella. Noella, Noella, I guess. And yeah, don't don't butcher me, guys. I'm trying. <laughs> don't stop. Me and now. it's what is this? This was board six, I believe, or board four. Oh. Oh, this is so close! This is so close! You always get excited. Knight, knight g3, knight g6, so knight b3, knight b6. That's your thing, isn't it? That's so close, dude! I'm gonna trick away this knight, dude. How are we gonna do this? Mm. What, b3, bishop a3? Nah, that's too, uh, too yeah. simple. Hmm. What about bishop takes h7 and g6? Bishop takes h7, g6. I like it. 
Nine of six doesn't work. Oh yeah, nine of six. That's a. Uh... I so close, so close, so, so close, so close. I want us to work. First they... C four. First C four. First C four. Okay, we're gonna go. And then bishop takes h. I'm gonna go. I don't know b six or something. Ah, this is looking terrible. Okay, bishop takes h. G six. We do have queen d four check, but who cares? You probably have to take here, right? Knight takes. This looks. Uh, this looks really good, actually. Bishop takes a four. I right. like it. C four. C four. Or just bishop d two also looks good. Rook a e one. I mean, positionally wise, it's also just better. Yeah, well, I'm still gonna look at this. Nine minutes on the clock against two minutes, so there has been a uh, huge time discrepancy. As it is, yep. Black is uh, doing. She's doing her best to get smothered. I like it. I like it. Oh, <laughs> look at this one. What's up, buddy? Those are those are some pawns there. Is this like a study or something? What the uh, hell? What the <laughs> nani? Little. Okay, uh, uh, I'll I'll try to make sense of this, but I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna give this one to you. I I don't know. This looks just over. I mean, too many pawns, right? And white is everything under control. Um, you could even play e5 here, I think. E5, e5. Keep, keep everything blocked because the pawn cannot be taken. Then you. No, no I, would, I would bring my knight to f6. It looks like a very solid. Um, the pawn on f7 needs protection. Uh, yes. <clears throat> but does it? But does it? H6. Uh, H is a bit six, yeah. Okay, never mind. <coughs> All right. You've got total domination here. Yep. Uh, can you look at board five, New Zealand versus... Uh, I think New Zealand... Oh, watch, we have a... Uh, hey, Komodo, this is Killian. This is Amadan. Killian Delane. He's a... Uh, I, he's a, a feeder master. Uh, comes a lot on the chess broad channel. I've loaned him for a long time. Killian is playing! My man! GG! Sorry, I got a little bit uh, excited. <laughs> I didn't know he was playing. Yeah, he is. He is, uh, so yeah, playing against Hong Kong, winning his first is, well, actually, it's the second game of the day. So he was doing very well. Very nice, very nice. I want to look back at, so someone said, uh, okay, I'm going to look if I find any Zealand game afterwards. I'm not sure. Is he playing in Irish over the board tournament too? That could be. You know what? Yeah, that's Amadam. Amadam 2013, boys and girls, Komodo Dragon on chess.com. Hey, I don't like Bishop takes h6. Uh, now, now it's easy, I think. Now you can just start pushing those uh, king side pawns. Yep, king yeah. g8 only move. Yeah, king but g8. You can, you can actually g5, do this even. G5, g6. Oh, yeah. When you would just bring the king in first, it's. Uh, yeah, this is too late. If the bishop was already here, then it could have been annoying. Let's say the bishop was already here. It's a little bit more annoying because you can't just push this, but it's still King one. Three, King C4, it looks still... Yeah, 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 absolutely. But this is uh, this is easier. Yeah, yeah, bishop takes h6 was... Yeah. All right. Ooh, are we going to see a triple one? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> and then you then you go play here. You're gonna, you're gonna lock her in. You gotta lock her in. This is your only move, and now you can just start picking up the pawns. Oh, I like taking on h7, please. There are some there are some still made for the memes. Smart brave you must do that. Do it for the meme. So this is actually this is Monaco versus Syria. But yeah. look at this, this is torture. Look at this. This is your only move, correct? And now you can just pick up all the pawns, take things easy. This is completely stuck. So you can only move his bishop around at all times. And once that happens, you can just start moving your pawns. You have to be a little bit careful. Because let's say all the pawns are gone and you trade these bishops off. This is also still made. But you have to be, uh, you know, it's just good. I like it. No, 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 no. There's no still made yet. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, ladies. Um... <clears throat> Who was next? So I heard someone saying one was board four of Ireland. I'm not sure which one that is. Because this one is a 
full broken down, so that one can't be it. Is it this one? Board four will be the junior mill player. Mm -hmm. So is that it's either this one or no, this one's already over. Right, let me check. What are oh. the names? Let's see. So first board Ireland versus Hong Kong. All right, let me check. I think that was Amadan. Uh, yeah. Uh, so second board is Stephen Jessel okay. versus uh, Lau. And yeah, and the, and third, they were asking for board number four. Okay, that's Lara Putar from Ireland versus Sao Wai Nji. This one. Well, this is pretty over, actually. Looking good for Lara. Yep. This is actually a made of one. Knight of seven, command puzzle rush. Nice. Well easy done. peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's go. Lemon squeezy. Ireland doing good so far. Absolutely wonderful. Um, let's see what else we got. Let's look at Albania versus. Uh, no, it was Singapore, Malaysia. Let's see how they're doing. There's still no result there, at least on chessresults.com. And we have. Ooh. What well, is it going to be a first win for white? Yeah, this is made in. Uh... Okay, this is made. <laughs> okay, okay. This one's done. Yeah. Let's see what else we have. Ooh, black is still on a very commanding position. <clears throat> yeah, F six. Looking, looking very good. Looking yeah. good and feeling good. Yep, bishop h6, okay. Mm. We want to go, can we do this? No, you have to just rook f1, right? Yeah, let's okay. see. Well, black is doing great here, actually. Something went wrong. Do you remember the previous position where we're talking how great white was, was position was? Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. I think uh, yeah. white pushed with f4 and e5, but okay, bishop h6, that was not the best move there. Ah, you have to play just f4 here. Get a little, you, you gave f6 in. You gave e6 in. It's such a nice pin. Exactly. E6 gave black some space to to try and uh, to try and uh, yeah open yeah. up the position there a little bit. But yeah, that lucky. Was, was under total control. White. Uh, just f4 here. Bishop here. Uh, e5 immediately. Looks very clean. Here I would go bishop a6. Yeah. Yeah. Because after all these trades, if you take this, I'll take this gladly. Yeah, I yeah, let's go. <laughs> I know you want let's to. Let's go. <laughs> I don't even have to think about that one. You, you would take the, that, 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 that bishop in a heartbeat. Uh, I certainly yeah. did. Certainly did. Yeah, this is really good. But unfortunately, uh, seems like this one is going to be over. Uh, unlucky. I mean, Malaysia was in a very good, very good position. And now it just seems like uh, black is dominating. Yeah, yeah. Now black is totally winning. Queen g3 at some point. Bishop takes. Oh, rook takes h3 is already made in two after queen d2. After queen d2, here. Rook takes h3, bishop takes queen. Oh, I, I missed the bishop. All right. Yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> how then? Oh, the bishop. All right. Yeah, looking good for what is this? Singapore. Singapore. Yes. Good. I think this match is going to be decided in Singapore's favor. Ireland's uh, taking another win. Ireland's doing really well here. Yeah. Doing incredibly well. All right, let's see if we get some of the New Zealanders, if they're creeping in. I see one from South Korea versus New Zealand. Uh, Scott Wasney against Si Yun Kwong. Looking good for Scott. Looking Absolutely. Uh, how do you uh, push forward here? Win one pawn, though. After B takes C6, Bishop takes C6. Black can take on e3, so that will be opposite colored bishops. That would be hard. I mean, f takes rook d8, or rook, yeah, it's bishop takes next move. Uh, well, after king e2, king e2, yeah, yeah, that's uh, interesting. Hard. Well, white can, of course, play this for a win, but uh, yeah, it's going to be hard to win this for sure. All right, so we're gonna see how that's going to unfold. I'm not sure what it, I think he's thinking about do I take on e3 right away? Yep. Gonna take on the free right away, and you get the same position. And yeah, then you get the same position. Just yeah. slightly different. All right. Yeah, absolutely good. Great. Let's or continue if we can see some 
good games. Oh, look at this light square bishop for white. <laughs> well, it can. It, it's not dead. I mean, the bishop can get back to life with f3 and bishop g1 at some point. But that's going to take a long, long time. Uh, I'm a bit bad. Oh, wait. Why does, a, why does an exchange up here, actually? Ah, oh, I did okay. not see that. So you could play for something like queen. Okay, yeah, there you go. Slowly getting the bishop back into the game with f3, king g2, bishop g1. Uh, king h1, bishop g1. Oh, okay, this is really annoying. The bishop on a6 is a really annoying piece. You well, could... we, we almost made it. Look, we almost made it. Well, after king h1, yeah, bishop takes f1. That is uh -uh, uh -uh. more important stuff. Okay, <laughs> we almost have bingo. Why it's working for it? Look at that. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So, what? Well, uh, yeah, but it's interesting. I mean, black has <laughs> this is. Uh, do you favor the material advantage or the piece material? Because look at this. The knight's also going to come to f4 at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really annoying. I think I would prefer black here, actually. After knight f4, I think I would play knight f4 here, yeah. Yeah, but you, you do give your yeah, but, disgusting but, bishop for a strong knight, so... But after knight f4, bishop takes, e takes, knight e5 is coming. What, yeah. about, uh, what about queen b5? Well, knight e3. Yeah, okay. Well, you need to you need to be a little bit lucky. Knight f4 now. Mm. I'm taking advantage of the fact that this knight is very weirdly placed. Well, I could play c4 now in, in worst case. Yeah, that's true. But do you want to? I mean, I'll take b2. Well, rook takes d7. You need to be careful. Okay, that's true. Interesting. Yeah. So that's why I was thinking knight f4, but okay, after after this, c4, I think white's clearly better. Yeah, knight c4 knight now is uh, not yeah. fan. Knight's coming in. This should be really good for white now. I was thinking knight f4 because I was going to try and uh, put the queen. The Wait, queen is this just a free pawn? Oh, actually, it's true. I missed that. So you just. <laughs> you, were, you were just talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, right. oh, PVZ two sons. Welcome to the stream. Just saying hi. I like PVZ. PVZ actually. That's good. Do you, know, do you know what that is, Big? Uh, Plants vs Zombies. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice game. I played it actually too. Yeah, it's a fun game. I almost want to play this. Nah, that's too much. That's too much. Don't you're, tell me what to do. You're opening up the position for. Don't it. don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I don't know. I saw I saw the bit back to f5, but I, I this bishop takes e4, and then you. Uh... Yeah, there is some potential there. Yeah, yeah, for black, not for white. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. But here, white's doing absolutely fantastic. Knight e3, knight f5. Yeah. Brilliant. Yep. Yep. It's gonna be. Uh... H2 doesn't do anything, but it's not dead. Like I said, you can you can get it back into the game. Actually, knight takes f6, bishop takes e5 is sometimes in the air. Ooh, I like that. Why not right now? I don't, well, bishop. Oh, um, maybe knight of four as well. Of... Bishop seven. Yeah, we got a little bit too crazy. This is a fun position to look at. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, cherry pick. No, it's uh, <laughs> uh, PVC two sounds. I I I'm not playing it at the moment. I'm actually playing another PVC uh, game. But uh, yeah, I've played it. I've played it. That's Nerd. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little geek. So <laughs> I play chess as well. Maybe uh, double the rooks. Always Just take it easy, you know. Why, uh, why the rush? Rook a one, good move as well. Um, knight f four. How how do we deal with that? Well, bishop takes, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, bishop takes. This looks fine. You e don't takes. even have to take. I mean, e takes, and now. Yeah, but this this isn't doing anything as well. So. Yeah. So, but the knight on f four. I don't want to allow a knight on e five. That's actually the dream thing that uh, the black wants. Well, I don't want my super knight to be traded off with this knight. Maybe just to move like queen e3, it looks good. Oh, he... queen e3 to look at a7. Why not rook a7? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Also good. Yeah, it's I did, you're not threatening anything at the moment, but there should be some tricks in the position soon. Yeah, and actually, we are closing in on the time trouble. Yes, that's the good stuff. Oh, rook a7 has been played. Very nice. Let's see if we can. Uh, what is this? A uh, oof! This is devastating, chat. Devastating. DK, don't tell me what to do. 
Mugs. <laughs> DK, listen, buddy. Don't tell me what to do. Anyway, uh, we have King of Seven just played. Yeah, it's going to be traded off. And the knight is going to find its way in here. Can you put more pressure on this B7 pawn? That's what I'm wondering. B7 pawn. It's not a pawn. I'm almost inclined to... <laughs> I'm almost inclined to... Uh, knight... I'm not going to say anything. Wait, this is your turn. All right. I want to get a knight to c5. No, not really. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of, actually. The knight on e5 is a beast there. Yeah. Yeah, so, and it's going to be a lot harder here to, to make anything work. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, it's still it's still not over yet. I mean, white's in total control, but the position can can still be... Okay, just rook takes d3. Just take that knight. Yes. Nicely done, Malek. Yeah. Perfect. Goed. Goed. I'm still saying Dutch. Goed. Queen to d4. We're looking at f6. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, potential take on b7 afterwards. So this queen isn't defending it anymore. Yeah, there are a lot of good uh, good ways. Yeah, I like queen d4 here. Big fan. Big fan. Big fan. Oh, it goes here. Because the idea here, Chad, is queen d4. Let's say uh, a silly move. Let's go rook here. You could just take this one. Yeah. And this should be over in a heartbeat. But uh, this is going to be over anyway. We have a lot of results coming in. Yeah. Uh, we'll look at that in a bit. We're closing down the list. Uh, this is the uh, 1100 from last game. Let's see how she did this game. Oh, oh the, that opening. Sorry, that made my heart skip a bit. That's Playing so. again. Yeah, that's, that's why Black lost, obviously. That's why Black lost. <laughs> Wait, did Black really lose? That yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. <laughs> this, well, this is the one that found like C4 to get uh, the uh, Rook C3 in for a pin uh, that game. Okay. That your 1100 Pargity. Well, been there. it's clear that Black did not take a look at my, uh, Killing it, dude. my DVD. So, yeah. Uh, there are some nice DVDs that I made on the Dutch, Mr. Mrs. Karen. I guess so. Wow. Um, so yeah, take a look at my DVDs. Available on gingergm.com. Even a little commercial. Rook C3 here. Look at that. Look at this one. Wow, we Rook C3. C3. Just oh. giving it up to keep the tension on it. That's uh Wait, wait, wait a second. So wasn't that just a mistake? Well, I don't know. It's winning anyhow, yeah. Well Rook C3? Yeah, I was thinking well, it's it's good and all. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. I was thinking knight c3. The idea was rook takes e3, but I see now that after queen takes c3. Yeah, the, the this one. I I also missed that. This is. Yeah. Uh, ah, we're gonna we're gonna chase the queen a little bit. That queen. Four force mate. Five. This is uh... very, very nice finish. Wow, this is brilliant stuff from uh, Kanil. Uh, so, undercover GM, we would say. Let's see. Can very we... impressive. Wait a second. So I'm going to check. The last board of South Korea playing absolutely brilliantly against New Zealand. Wow, we. Rook C3. I, I would have a hard time coming up with that. Now. Yeah, that's, uh, that's very impressive. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Score, by the way, three out of five for Miss Canil. Doing good. Let's see how we're doing here. Um, yeah, white's winning. This is an easy win for white. I need to flip the boards. Not that easy, though. I've, I've played this ending uh, on myself, and I had a hard time converting this. But yeah, uh, you just push the pawns, uh, keep the knights. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, keep the knights on the boards. It's actually quite easy. But in time trouble, this could be a bit hard. I mean. There are some if you push wrongly then there could be still mates you know or some sacrifices that could make a draw yeah like if the if the pawn is let's say uh, silly move if the pawn is here uh so 
need to triangulate a little bit to get into the right position. Uh, thanks, Max, for the for the little commercial. Uh, there, 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 there. If it comes to this, uh, you also have the idea of like taking here and then going to king here. Yeah, like for these are yeah. The, so these kind of positions can be very tricky. Uh, but I, I, I'll take it that White can uh, know how to end where it is, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Max, the, this is not what uh, what uh, the Dutch player played. My 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 repertoire is way different. Oh, this is your uh, favorite ending. Look at this. My favorite ending, really? Oh yeah, this this ending, yeah. Oh wait, this but, ending. Wow, that's oh darn it. Um. <laughs> Oh boy, um, it's a draw still. It's a draw still. Um, yeah, it's a draw. Very difficult to play though. Not in yet, uh... Not yet the Philidor position, but black is close. Black is close. Black needs to be careful. So the way to draw this is actually play rook g2 here for white. Yeah, rook g7 is playing a little bit with fire. I like it. I like. I would have played rook g8, so you can at least give a check. Yeah, no, yeah, now I think to, you want to do the the, the, the the second rank. No, now it's winning. Now it's winning for black. Is it? Rook of seven yeah. check? This is winning. Bishop f4. Rook e7 to go to e1. Yeah, and then I have to explain a lot of things to uh, <laughs> to to show how it works. Yeah, there's this whole this, Oh, this, there's the entire uh... It's like a 13 move maneuver that you need to know to win this, yeah. Yeah. But uh, what you're trying to do, you need to get the rook on the on the sixth rank, the white rook, so that the rook cannot go to d6 or to h6. But yeah, okay. if you if you're interested in this, I did a I did a whole course on the on the end game Tuesdays on my channel, and I could repeat it there once more if you like. But it's too much to explain for now. Yeah, but it seems like white doesn't know how to do this. You need to. Okay, I'm 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 down. What what do I play for black here? Okay, so um, let's see how we start. Uh, so rook f2 is a good move. Rook f2. I'm just going to go away. That is, uh, that's a mate after rook c2. Rook ah, c2, I don't have rook d7. Rook d7, yeah. All right, so this is what you need to avoid, actually. You need to make sure... That is why you need the rook on the sixth rank, because if you then play the same, then rook d6 is not possible. Okay. Yeah, so you need to lose a 10p here. So for example, you need to play something like rook a2. Rook a2. I'm rook gonna go f4. rook here. And then rook b2. Rook b2. Now I need to pull back. Yeah, and now you play a move like bishop d6. Bishop d6. No, that's, bishop e, that's bishop oh, e6. Oh, e6, I apologize. Bishop d6. Yeah. Okay. So now. If you play king e1, uh, let me check what is good here. You need to give a check, maybe? Um, oh, no, you expose your king. I mean, I'm sure there is something here, but I, I I would have to learn it. Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to think how exactly you did this, because the position is kind of different. Ah, wait, wait. You did, uh, not bishop d6, but bishop h6. h6? Yeah. The point is, if you, for example, play king g1, yeah. Uh, then you've got rook b1, bishop f4, and rook h1 mate. Okay, but I'm just going to keep my, my rook on this. All right, that's perfect. Um, now I'm going to play, uh, let's see, bishop e3. Bishop e3. Now I need to you need the to... checks again. Bishop f4. And now we're going to go back. Rook f2. Rook f2. We're going to go to e1. Um... Am I doing this correctly, though? Let's see. Rook c2. Rook c2. I'm going to have to go back because I still. Let me check how exactly you did this again. Let Let's. Uh... Oh, oh, see, well. you won. Easy. Yeah. Well done. Well played. Right. Yeah, that's a very. Uh... Yeah. A lot of GMs often fail here. That's absolutely true. Maybe rook h2 was the right way to go there, actually. I mean, surely white also will make mistakes. It's easier to play for white than for black, obviously. But it's uh, it's a fun one to look at. I hope I didn't put you in a bad spotlight, Wulong. We know you're a very strong oh, player. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's it's a really tough ending to play anyway. So, 
I yeah, I get some hate in the chat for that, but no, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god, it's a really tough end game. You sh there's on YouTube, there's this bishop uh, ending where Peter Sfiedler even lost that game to Magnus Carlsen. So I really don't don't feel bad about uh, for, yeah for getting out to win that. It's really a tough end game. It's exactly. a 13 move knowledge thing. So. Yeah. We have some uh, results in already. Syria lost to uh, Monaco, unfortunately. Unfortunately, Ireland is sweeping Hong Kong 4-1 up now. Singapore Malaysia has ended. Uh, Singapore lost 1-4-2. Albania won 5-1 to, to Japan. And South Korea beat New Zealand. So uh, we are definitely seeing Albania and Singapore taking the lead in this pool. This is the last game of this round, and it's... Well, it looks like a draw. Two pawns for the exchange for black, so... Hmm. I don't see a clear way for white to make progress. You could play rook h2, rook h7, I suppose. Yeah, I don't even think... I think you need to keep the rooks on the board if you want to have at least a chance. Well, what about rook a7 now? Oh, rook c7 simply, yeah, okay. Yeah, this, this looks very drawish. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we've got a big result here. Singapore won the match against Malaysia with 4-2. And actually, we've got all the results already. Yeah, all the matches are decided. All the matches are decided. But we're still looking at one. I'm confused. Not all the matches are decided. Ireland versus Hong Kong is still going. Ah, I'm sorry. I forgot. About <laughs> well, Ireland versus Hong Kong, the match has been decided. Yeah, the match, the match has been decided. That's true. That's true. So we'll, we'll see the standings. Always after this, we're going to go on a short break to get the standings sorted and all that goodness. And then we will have the third round uh, on its way. I'm getting a word that two games are missing. Let's see if I can get that done. Because so I think there's only one game left, but I could be wrong. Maybe they just started. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it yeah but that that is uh that's that, also something that's something we can mention actually all right that's it. yeah you can uh you can throw it in there what was the command again you can find it in uh it's not a command it's just uh the link you need to grab okay 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 uh well i'll show it later let's focus on the game first now yeah because if things are heating up g5 would you like do you like that move um I'm 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 still I'm still thinking about what Black is trying to. I mean, obviously they want to get the e5 pawn here, but now you can actually take on f4, and this is complete draw. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is a complete. That's completely draw. This uh, this should be. This is also what happens. Yeah, actually, Black is trying to push for a win. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, this is. Uh... Just, oh. You can even take the bishop here. Oh, they, they both try to, to draw, but they both play too fast as they decline each other's draw. That's a, that's a classic, chat. It's a classic. All right. All right. Let's uh, show the standings. There's one point missing in Ireland, but that's not really uh, too much to worry about. Chat, these are the standings right. And now we see the results on the left. These are the standings. Albania is uh, on course. To be a really really good contender to win this group together with singapore and ireland actually taking over the place of malaysia that just lost with singapore uh our syria underdog is going down a little bit let's look at actually the third round uh, which lineups we have we have albania against singapore the number one versus the number two that's going to be a uh, heated match Ireland is playing Malaysia, the number three against the number four. So we're going to have some very interesting matches going on, ladies and gentlemen. So don't yeah. go anywhere. And uh, uh, yeah. you have something to say, Mr. Parashas? Well, I, I remember now how to win that endgame, by the way. <laughs> 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 but, uh, but we'll keep that one uh, for now. Anyways, uh, yeah, we'll be back shortly, I guess. We're going on a break. Yes, we're going to go on a short break because we can sort it out. And we'll be back in about six to seven minutes. We can get some things sorted for the next round of the Olympiad. Division three, round number three, coming right up. All right.
we are back, ladies and gentlemen. This will be round six. Actually, it's round three of today, but it's round six in total. Uh, I'm here, joined again by Grandmaster Roland Pruisers, and of course, myself. Who could, for, who, who could forget? <laughs> Just gotta stop. Uh, I need to unfollow all the old matches because we don't really want to see those going. And uh, we are, I have the new link and I am ready to start uh, looking at the new games. So let's give a quick look on the standings, ladies and gentlemen. Off pool A uh, is the one of our focus on right now. Albania taking a big lead. Uh, they're playing Singapore, actually, the number one against the number two. And uh, we have the number three against the number four, which is Ireland versus Malaysia. Quite an interesting match up for sure. And I am, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite ready for uh, what is about to come. Are you, are you excited for this round? This is going to be the best round yet. Yeah, this is going to be the best round yet. Number one and two facing off against each other. How exciting is that, of course? Then let's not even wait a single moment longer. And let's look at the games. We're obviously going to focus our attention on the Singapore games and the Malaysia games. This is against South Korea, this is against Japan. Can I find them? Ah, we have Albania, Singapore. Definitely want to take into consideration. Uh, this is a rather easy opening. The Gucci piano, as I call it. It's not how you pronounce it. How you pronounce it exactly? Sorry, how do you pronounce it? The opening. I think the Giyawoko Pianissimo. The Giyawoko Pianissimo. Okay, the Gucci piano, chat. The Gucci piano. That's how we will uh, take it. And this is like a... Is this an Alakine? No. Oh, did you say Alakine? Wait, wait, wait. No, this is a Scotch. Yeah, this, this is a Scotch. Scotch. Well, the the whole night movement is... Uh, it looks... I always see like a reversed Karakan in the setup. I cannot be the only one, right? A reversed uh, Alakine position. Yeah, no. more or less. I mean, the knight on b3, well, it's been pushed away by the bishop, of course, on b6. So. No, no, what are we? Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you, all right? I'm okay. gonna, I'll show you what I mean, <laughs> and then you can uh, you can agree. Okay, so right. let me go to a simple Karakan right here. Uh, this one, I believe. Uh, so, this setup. Yeah. So we have this setup, all right? And now I'm going to go to... Which game was it? <laughs> Try a proving a point. Now we're going to go to this side. It's like the same thing. Oh, they just they just moved the bishops. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's the uh, it's it's same thing there. But, same thing, uh, but uh, we're reversed. So I'm yeah. just... It's not really reversed. It's flipped. Thank you. Okay. It doesn't matter. It was important to me. We can move on. <laughs> Not reversed, but flipped. Yeah, it was flipped. All right, never mind, never mind. Uh, yeah. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I found one. Oh, this oh. actually a Benoni. Uh, I think actually this is a four pawns Kings Indian, if I'm not mistaken. Is it really? Yeah, I think so. Shall we take a look? So five F four. That's what I'm looking for. Yep. Yeah. There you go. There you go. The four pawns attack. Famous attack against the Kings Indian. Oh, this is. Uh, I always struggle with this when I'm playing black because I can never get this knight to a good position. Well, usually they play bishop g4 and then knight uh, bd7. Yeah, that's a, that's a very a common way of dealing with that. This is a very common way. Even h3, you can just take with the queen. But still, this knight is. Uh, you know, d6 is weak. That's always a a thing to look at. You got to stop him from playing b5. And mm -hmm. you don't want to play a6 because you're just going to lock yourself in. So you're going to have to play b6 here, uh, usually, and then a6 later on. It's a, a difficult... Uh, I always find it's difficult with black, but let's see if they can... Uh, oh, the early c4. Look at that. Cannot take, obviously, chat, if you take it. Well, I mean, you can take it, but this is actually really good for black. So I like this, uh, I like this approach. Yeah, c4. I guess it's just theory. I mean, she she has played this. I mean, it's just, yeah, this is a she board, all right? Yeah, I guess c4 is is simply a theoretical move here. I guess queen b6 is next, and um, yeah, well, I don't know the theory, unfortunately. Hey, but uh, but but Vic, you're the king's Indian player. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. 
No. Um, the theory. <laughs> so usually you want to get like a six b five, and you can actually play b five right now because if you take ah. again, you can check this one. Also, That's queen b six are ideas in this position. Uh, so if you play the knight back to d4, you can start playing the knight here, bishop here, put some pressure on him. And usually this yeah. is good because after this, let's say this, you don't have bishop e3, or I apologize. Uh, after this, you don't have bishop e3 because the knight is blocking everything. So these are pretty normal. Oh, I did something. You play bishop g4 instead, also not too crazy, queen f3. I would still like to see b5. Uh, just to keep the pressure on this one again, you cannot take because of queen b6, and now you're mm -hmm. just losing a knight. Um, so b5 is usually what you see here, b5, b4. All right, all right, let's go. Let's see if it happens. No, 97, and well, we're just going to look at other games. There are more interesting games because look at this one. Oh, this looks like a bishop g5 uh, poison pawn knight is. You're going to look at it? Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's take a look. Go look. New Zealand and Japan. I don't think we're going to cover New Zealand against Japan, Metro, just because the top two teams are playing against each other right now. There is a Google spreadsheet link that uh, Huland will provide in chat. Oh my God. Right now. Got to to do where that. you can follow your favorite teams. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me grab. Oh, damn it. Okay, I need to push the right buttons. Let's see. Yeah, uh, there you go. Nice. I I nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> I nailed it. There you go, everybody. Uh, for you to follow the games, uh, there's a Google spreadsheet that you can click in the, in the chat. So indeed, Poison Pawn. Uh, white is up to pawns, or black is up to pawns, but is terribly lacking any sort of development or king safety. Yep. Who would you prefer in this position? Uh, well, black needs to play queen c5, and after that, I think. Well, I'm a I'm a pawn grabber, so I would I would like to I would like to be black. I think yeah. Mm. Although although I think it will be very very hard because white has a lot of tricks in the position. So yeah, usually I'm in favor of black, but on the other hand, in a blitz game, I think I'll prefer white actually. Yeah, yeah, I think that this is still theory. After queen c5, I'm not too sure what white's going to do. You always have ideas of, let's say, b5. Yeah. Bishop here, here. You always have, like, queen takes g3, <laughs> rook h1 kind of ideas, yeah. but it doesn't uh, yeah. doesn't happen just now. You really need to worry about this e6 spot. So queen c5 seems very normal. Be very, very solid here. Queen yeah. f2, looking at here. For it's example, uh, it's, it's scary, man. Queen f7. Yeah, this is looking very, very scary. Obviously, yeah, the poison pawn is such a dangerous variation. But, but these two, uh, the black player is not scared at all. No, no, it's uh, an absolute chat. I don't know how to defend this. By the way, what? Okay, I'm I'm going to indulge you for a bit. What happens after queen takes c4? After queen takes c4. Okay, well, I'm just going to go for the check. Obviously, yeah. it's the first one, and I thought rook to d1. Maybe I have something better. I think you could take on g7 first. I mean... Oh, yeah, that's the fence of knights. Okay, yeah. So I need to play rook e8. And now... May oh, now even... I think you at least have a draw. No, you don't. You don't. Well, queen takes g5. Why not? Well, I was thinking maybe rook f7 to take on here on the next move. Oh, because if you take seven. back, it's mate. Almost. Uh, it's, it threatens queen f6, actually. Oh, I was going to go for this, but this is even better, yeah. Yeah, so after rook of 7 knight d7. Knight d7 looks good. Now, now I can take on g5. Or we oh. take b7 here, actually. b7 also, yeah, yeah. This is... Uh... Yeah, stuff like this. Quite a nuisance, man. Holy moly. Yeah, you need to be uh, really, really careful here for before such things to work. So, yeah, I'm actually very scared for the black position. Yeah, I would yeah, take it's, it's, it. It seems like White is completely winning here, but I no, it's could not. Be wrong. There should be a defense. I mean, it's two pawns first of all. The White King is unsafe. I'm all right, sure. Queen C five. We're gonna. I'm, I'm calling you out. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. <laughs> um. Let's see. Knight C six looks normal. Knight C six. Okay. We're gonna go. We're gonna go back. King D eight. And. 
Do I have something nasty here? Knight check, bishop check, bishop takes. Oh, well, I'm pinned, obviously. Okay, never mind. The pin is very annoying. I need to defend that first. So let's go c3. Um, knight e5 looks good. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, let's play knight e5. Yeah. Knight e5. Knight d8 was also good, but knight e5 looks very natural to me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the, getting the knight to e5 is very important. Now it's not that bad anymore for uh, for black. You, right. can win, you can win a pawn, but, but even then, then... Queens are exchanged and the attack should be more or less okay. Yeah, okay. Oh. So knight, queen c5 and knight c6 has to be played here. You place knight c6 immediately. Okay. Now you can take the pawn. It's a free pawn. This is something better, though. Like what? Well, I was thinking... Um... You could what take, we take here immediately? And queen takes g5, maybe. And then queen takes g5. Yeah, because queen c5, you can exchange the queens, but the pawn structure is so damaged that, that it should be more, it should be perfectly okay for us. Is this something else then? You could do this. Uh, hmm. That's a good move. Queen f2, I suppose? No queen way. F2. Queen f2 looks good. Well, uh, now I would just. Trade and yeah, trade like this, this. Yeah, so not queen f2. What if I just um, wait, 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 this is important. Uh, queen d4, d4. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna take here. You're gonna take a g7. Yeah. I thought I had no, that's not good. Do you have a drawish what? idea? Well, you, I think you need to play b takes c6 instead of queen take instead of uh, queen takes c6. Hold on, hold on. So I can go here. You cannot go back, obviously, because then I'm just going to do this. So you have to play rook f2, and then queen e5 to defend this here. Okay, queen. Even though this is still this is looking brilliant. Very, sus very suspicious. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. I took an e6. It's weird. Yeah. It's a, this is total calculation position, but this is this is looking good for white as well. Yeah. Really. That's an rook takes b7, queen takes g5. The king is stuck in the center for now, so... Why well, you can just play king h1, because the knight blocks c6 square. Yeah. Yep. And now knight e5, I suppose, but then rook takes b7 is possible. Yeah. So you need to play rook b8 here. It's not over yet, but white is clearly, clearly better. Chad, do rook you mind us staying on this game? We really think it's an interesting game. Rook b8, uh, look at. 7 rook b8, rook f5. Yeah, but I, I, I hate this, dude. Knight e5. <laughs> can I sacrifice? <laughs> you always want to. Can I no? sacrifice? You can, take, you can take the pawn on g5, perhaps. But I might want to play bishop d5, so I can sacrifice on the next turn. But is that really a threat? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, what do I do here? Oof. Uh, queen c7, maybe. Queen c7. Oh. Uh, I mean, you're pinned, right? So I can do this. Yeah, that's true. Queen yeah, that's, uh, that's rough. Oh, I don't nice. know. A lot of things going on right now, chat. Yeah, looking good. The king is stuck on the eight. That's the big thing. We'll here. get back to this game. Uh, very interesting game. We'll, we'll see the end of it, especially. Uh, we're also going to see the end of this game, it seems, because White is just dominating with his pawns. Actually, this no, is a no. very, very strong knight. Yeah, and the pawns in front of that knight are very strong as well. I think that black has more potential here than white, actually, because white does not have a clear breakthrough. If f5, then the e5 square is becoming very weak. And if e5, then the pawn will fall. So while black has, well, black also doesn't really have a break. Maybe b3 at some point. b3 so looks very good. B3. Yeah, b3 is a, is, a, is a nice break here. Uh, I actually don't know how to handle this. I, I'm almost inclined to play bishop b1 here. Yeah, uh, but then a4, I guess, simply. Yeah, but then then I can do this, and then I don't feel that bad anymore. That's that's not bad for black. I think that that can. Okay, maybe you just want to play queen b6 or something. Because I, I want to do this anyway. Yeah, that's. Now, I'm more scared for for these kind of ideas, and mm -hmm. then maybe knight b3. No, because this knight's gonna jump in here then. Yeah, and if you play maybe queen b6 first, and then knight b3 or something. 
So here, creepy six. Oh, this is a nice, uh, nice little line, yeah. Yeah. Probably just have to move the king. Let's go h1. Yeah. The knight. Yeah. This is looking juicy. Yeah. Nice ID on b2 as well. Yep. Nice position. Uh, b3. I like it. Good Something move. like that, at least. Uh, b3 is an idea. And I'm not saying that black's better after that, but it looks like black has potential there, at least. Yes. We've seen uh, a few hashtag Team New Zealand's. Let's see if we can get a Team New Zealand on the board. Let's take a look. We got a few over here. Let's look at board number one. Scott Wastney against Tran Tan 2. Seems like this is a very... Uh, Positional position. Positional position. One that we hate to commentate because there's not much going on. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, Let's go to the next one. Now looking good for black. The pawn on d3, permanent weakness. Yeah. If you have like a c5 pawn here, controlling both these squares. Very good. I, I believe the knight was just pulled out. Is it true? No. Okay. No, the white is getting there. Uh, yeah. The knight, the knight is getting there. I don't think you should place your knight here, though. I think you want to keep the tension here. I think you want to uh, take on c4 at some point or play something like, I don't know, a5, a4 to try and create some more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just something like that. You need you need something extra here to, to actually. Keep your attention here. I uh, I fully agree. Pressure. I mean, cool. you, yeah, like I said, if you put a knight on d4, then the pressure is at least temporarily gone on the d3 pawn. Let's see what we have here. We have Nicole versus Azumi. And it looks again like white's a little bit better. There's an isolated pawn on d5. You hate to see that. Yeah, in this position, it's definitely good for black uh, for white. Yeah, yeah, it's black to move. Black could play queen c5 here. I'm, I'm trying to think concretely what happens, but I guess you can just take on e4 because the queen is protected by the knight on d4. Yeah, yeah. So no biggie, but uh... yeah, this is not really a uh, a threat. I don't think black is that much worse, to be honest. You could play bishop e2, but black could try and yeah, put some pressure on the b5 pawn if possible. I don't think this is that bad for black. Black has enough compensation for the s Yeah, I agree. I agree. Here, black is a pawn up. Mm, so black is better. Mm, yeah, black's better. Rook b1, uh, good move. h6, automatic reaction. Yes, looks good. Looks okay. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna raise you. H6. You can go to e1. To d8. Oh no, no, that's not it. And rook e2. Yeah, you need to go back. You already, where do you place it? D. Uh, yeah, d d2, I suppose. Yeah, but d2, yes. You have this kind of. Well, rook b8, my friend. All right, that's annoying. So, oh, f6 then. So I can go here. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Nice. Woo, nice. look at that. Look at that. To be look fair, at, I just... Mr. Vic. Jeez. Yeah, I only see that because you pointed out my mistakes. All right? Don't, don't, don't put me <laughs> on the pedestal. But yeah, uh, this idea, Chad, now you don't have this check anymore. Uh, and I go back. Now I can just, uh, well, I'll just take this one. Yeah. Yeah, no checks, no checks. All right, so, so F6 winning. Can I say that? F6 winning? F6 winning? Yeah, I think you can. After rookie two, it's it's more or less over. So let's see if Karen can find that. Uh, oh, lucky. What? Rookie eight? No. Does queen c5 not take the bishop? Very good point. Queen c5 queen and one. let's say king h1 and queen f2. Doesn't matter. If I take this, unfortunately, it's a back rank mate. Yep. So queen c5 does not work. Hate to see it. But All right. That was cool, man. F6. I like it. Yeah, F6 was brilliant. Yeah. Um, I had to go through every other possible move first before finding that. But that doesn't matter. Well, that's how you that's how you calculate that's how you get to this this stuff you start somewhere and then gradually you get to the right move there so yeah that's uh that was a good good demonstration good demonstration of power um, daniel gong uh is this board two then i think it is yeah it's either board six or board five or board two 
Ah, sorry, this is board five. This is the youth board, actually. Um, uh, black is doesn't have a lot of space. White has it's but, equal material. I don't know how to get this H7 pawn. It's actually fairly well defended. I think I would try to play A3, B4 simply. I want to get the knight here at some point because yeah. this is my idea. I want to get my rook here, <laughs> this rook here, <laughs> the queen here. You want to use an Alekine gun on the air? Yes! <laughs> well, shoot him! I think that's a little bit too much. Uh, so, okay, uh, you want to hear my plan? Yes. I think it's a good idea to play maybe rook f4, rook g4, exchange that uh, great defending rook, and then you can use some more, more ideas on the king's side. Yeah. I like and that. Otherwise, well. otherwise, a very straightforward plan is a3 and b4. A3 and b4. Yeah, that's very. Uh... Uh, actually, this is not good because of h5, and then the rook is trapped on h4. So, yeah, oh. rook f4, not the best idea. Okay, yeah, I just can use the other rook. Oh, bishop h5. Or still h5, yeah, it's still annoying. Yeah. Okay, so, hmm. It's, 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 it's diff it seems like it's very... I'm missing something. Is there a 96 at some variation where I can get my bishop here? It's like right, right now. And I can get this one in here. Yeah, that looks interesting. Black does have bishop g6 to protect everything. That's true. Let's just go in here, and now I have extra space. Well, queen g7. It seems like black has everything under control. Mm, yeah, it's just, it's just winning. Yeah, a three before is the the best slower approach. I I agree on that. But yeah. if I was in this game, I would only be focusing on the king side to be fair. Ah, uh, I think we've got an idea. After knight e6, knight takes e6, f takes e6, the pawn on b6 is hanging, actually. Ah! Yeah, That's and a free pawn. Also, but uh, then you lose this one. Oh, no, you don't lose that one. No. And so if you protect the rook on uh, the pawn on b6 with rook b8, for example, so one move back, then you've got queen takes g5. Queen takes g5. F takes, rook takes a fate, king takes a fate, rook yep. takes seven, winning and winning a pawn. And uh improving on the position. For sure. This is so complete. Nice fine, dudes. I, I would have played well, you you're pushing me to this. I feel I feel like I want to play A3, B4, but then you're saying there must be something concrete here, and then after ninety six I saw this idea. So yeah, so yeah. White uh, chess is a concrete game, everybody. It's not only positional play and keeping control. Sometimes you need to blast through. That's blast them. So, are we going to say e6? We see a nope. Rook f to f4. Yeah, wrong plan. We already saw why. We already saw why. Knight e6 was the vote. That was a nice find, dude. Yeah, thank you. Good, man. good, 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 good. All right. Um, let's see what else we have. We're going to go back to Singapore, Albania. Um, okay. Hi, uh, Fred. But black to move. So there's a lot of, there's a bishop on there. Oh, yeah. there's a rook on A2 as well. Okay. But knight takes E5. Big, big Fred here. Yep, yep, yep. Also rook takes D6. Also Fred. Yo, this uh wow, what what is this? So okay, okay, you cannot play knight h3 because knight takes e5 is a big big threat. You cannot yeah, I agree. You need to so what about a move like uh king c8, for example? King c8, we're running away, we're defending uh, this. A6, a6, bad move. Bad a6, move. holy moly. Yeah. And... Okay, uh yeah, you have to sacrifice your bishop then, I believe. No, but that even doesn't work. No, this looks this looks terrible. Um wow. Knight g6, suggestion by Max. I think that loses too because of knight takes d6. What about knight h3? Here, king, queen g7. Here, what no, does that do? Oh, the, I, thought the, I thought this was pinned for some reason. It's not. Um, no, that doesn't I, wanna, I wanna make the pin work somehow, but I don't think we can. So knight g6, suggestion in the chat. Let's take a look there. Because knight g6. Point here as well. Because here you have knight takes or rook takes d6. You say rook takes d6, right? And then go for this this yeah, line over here. King e8, knight takes d6, winning the queen. Yeah, and if you go to d8, obviously you can just take in one go. Yeah, b7 yeah. is... Uh... 
Yeah, I think is I think this is winning for for white. I don't see how black can stop, but at least no, I don't see a great idea. Knight takes e5 is such a big threat here. Queen, move G7, the king queen g7 immediately might be the best move here. What about queen f8? Well, knight takes e5 anyway. Yeah, but now I'm not that worried on it anymore. Bishop takes f4. Can I take that? Yeah, you can. Um, now I'm threatening. Yeah, now you're threatening there. So knight takes c6. Knight takes c6. Queen takes c6. I'm just, I'm just gonna is. call you on that one. Knight takes g3. King f1. I have to give another check here. King e1, I suppose. E1, rook to. Yeah, I need to put my rook somewhere. It's under attack. Maybe rook b8. Yeah, wherever you Yeah, why is why is clearly better? Seven. I think I think it's just. I think it needs some calculation, but yeah. I don't. I, I do think queen f8 gives the, the most fighting chances out of this position. Might be. Might very well be. Yeah. yeah. Because otherwise, rook takes d6 is very strong. Yeah. So you need to get the queen outside of the line, and you defend d6. Oh, it's still very strong, actually. <laughs> But okay, yeah, this uh, look, looks winning for... Rook uh, 6 still? Yeah, I'm wondering about that. C takes, queen takes b7, king goes, queen takes a8. Queen takes c6, next move. Is a yeah, there you go, here again. Yeah, maybe it isn't that strong because of rook takes d6. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm missing something. Is there something else I could do? King d8 maybe? Queen takes c8 and then knight here? Queen c king c7? King c7! Traps, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, you can just straight here and then win this one anyway. Okay, you lose a lot. Yeah. I lost interest. Sorry. <laughs> Figure this. I'm joking now. Um, no, I had I had this line. So rook takes. Yeah. King takes. Queen takes, and then king c7 to oh. stop this. Yeah, but but you, you can just take here, and then you. Lose a night as well. Easy. Whoa, okay. Yeah, wow, that's a good game from White. Yeah, good game from Queen H5. White. So Rook takes D6 is uh, destroying. Yeah, I think so, yeah. What about Bishop takes, takes F2? Oh, Queen takes D1 as a threat, by the way. I see right. a lot of I see a lot of uh, things. What about Bishop takes F2 and Knight H3? So Bishop takes F2, look at that as well. You can just take with the King, unfortunately. Also, yeah. the Rook is looking... Uh, maybe you need to take with the king. The rook is yeah. The rook is looking at this one, and after knight is free check, you can just play. I don't king, know, yeah, knight king takes two. two. Queen two. takes or knight takes. A queen takes, queen takes, because after knight takes, you still have knight takes. Yeah. Even this looks okay. Why is everything under control? Still, knight takes e five is a threat. Bishop e three, perhaps. Bishop g five. Yeah, looks good. Looks uh, looks still good for 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 white. Oh, you have to uh, ferocious reader. There is a uh, a dot at the end of that link. You have to remove the dot. But uh, Simon will update it soon enough. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but what? That that that. That's just the way it is. <laughs> All, right. All right. Shall we go to the next game? Yeah, cool game. Cool games. Let's look at that. We were looking at one game for a long time, remember? Let's see if we can uh, we can find that one back. Let's uh, dive through this real quick. Black is a pawn. No, not a pawn up, but well, about two. There is a trick in the position. If you take on d5, you can take on b5 because there is a back rank drop. Yes. So for example. Yeah, perfect. Um, rook a1 check. Rook a1. And if you take with the queen, you just lose this one. Yeah. Nice trick. So... Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, all right. This one has ended. It's yeah. Scary bear. We're slowly moving towards the end of the round. Okay, I'm looking for that game. Who was it again? I think it was this one. This was the, this was the poison pawn variation, yeah. So we see queen c5, b5 has been played. Oh, the rook found its way to c3. Interesting, interesting. 
Yeah, this is crumbling. It's just crumbling. Yeah, this is uh This is over. White is going to win this one. Too many pieces. Um actually, well, well it's not too many pieces, but six D six. Six D six seems good. It should be over anyway. Rook just D6. have to be careful that uh you don't have like King of Seven Knight or Rook H eight kind of ideas, but well, Bishop D five is made already in the... yeah, Exactly, so uh, he should be good. Castle! Oh, well. <laughs> Not possible. Unlucky. Don't make illegal illegal moves. Why am I why am I talking in accents now? It's weird. I don't know. You're just I'd no. go. next next game. You need your coffee. Yeah, maybe. Here we have a queen ending. <laughs> uh one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. A pawn up is black? No, uh yeah, black temporarily at least. Is queen takes e4. Okay, you're the pawn ending expert. You've shown I'm lot. the pawn ending expert. Oh, I'm the you, opposition. You've shown experts. a lot of good pawn endings in previous broadcasts. So uh, I think what you take on e4 is black. <clears throat> well, take giving the I wouldn't because you just give White the e4 square and he actually has opposition at that moment, so you can just push out whatever he wants. Uh, mm -hmm. I would just avoid that scenario, even though it's probably still a draw. I would probably avoid that scenario just because. Oh. I need to make a move and I can be stopped at any time. So I have to wait yeah. around a long time. Why uh, is that white should be winning? Because the king is, is going to get on e5. Yeah, exactly. That, that, that well, should... It's not the worst because let's say all the pawns are stuck. Yeah. You can always play like this kind of idea and then you have to go back. Play f5 here. Yeah, then you can play f5. Yeah, that's true. And yeah. there's always f5. In yeah. This. Yeah, that's another reason why you can't. Uh, yeah, but black does not have to take, and now it's more or less equal. White has a slightly better pawn structure, but not too much. So this should be a draw. Yeah. So the answer is don't go to the pawn ending. Yeah. Don't give your opponent the uh, center square if you don't have to. It's a little bit the idea. All right. Uh, we have an ending here. Black won by resignation. New Zealand looking strong. Looking sharp, dressed man. Da, da, da. We still don't have a result. Oh, Singapore is one up against Albania. Yeah. And let's look at Ireland, Malaysia, if we can find. Let's look at uh, yeah. Amadan, Komodo Dragon. Oof. Um, what is Killian it? is uh, a pawn up, but with the king over here, difficult to. Like, if the king was here, it's a completely different story. But G4, the king is, uh... I like it, creating some weaknesses on the king's side. Yeah, yep. Knight takes b6. Uh, oh, okay, look. six. Trade everything off, win. Yeah, exactly. Winning pawn ending. Winning pawn ending, question mark? No, no, it's a draw. The king is close enough to do Yeah, it should be close enough. Yeah, you have to walk all the way around. You can wait one move, by the way. Wait, 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 go back. Um, instead of rook takes b6, I think you can play king g3 first. King g3 right now? Not, you cannot. No, fortunately not. Now the knight can move to d5. Okay, if, the, then if, the king, if king c6, you're in a much better position. Yeah, then I, you can play I have king c6 in my head. But, you but can king b6, unfortunately. No, the, the problem is here, ladies and gentlemen, that after this exchange, you want to get the king over to f5. Yeah. Uh, but you're just going to get blocked out before you get there, and this is a draw. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, it's a draw position. Maybe if... And even if you play something like f4... Uh, you're not going to take, if you take, then you're going to have a lot more no room to wiggle with. Yeah. Uh, but you can just keep it here and just move closer. So That's a lot easier. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. True. So, let's see what we got. It takes h7, pawn up. Uh, it should be an easy draw for black. Knight takes e3, and uh, there's no real good way for white to continue. It should be an easy draw. Yeah, well, easy is a big... Uh, Rogan games are always drawn well complicated. Yeah, okay, but this one is not really, so... <laughs> yeah, okay. Take it with a grain of salt, my opinion. All right, uh, this one ended. We have... Oh, apologies. We have a draw between Anthony and Akira. We have a win from uh, Karen against Isabel. Yeah, this looks like a very demanding position. Yeah. A lot of... Oh. I'm not sure what the result will be in the match. I've seen wins for Japan and wins for New Zealand, so... Yeah. It's going to be an interesting a match for sure. Singapore is 2-0 up against Albania. That's uh, 
that is a tough cookie. Looking good. This yeah. is an interesting one. Two pawns for the knight. Who would you favor here? White. Because the pawns cannot move. The queen on c4 is nicely protecting everything. Um, it doesn't look like it's much, though, for white. At least for now. The knight on c1. Hmm, you would want the knight on the center square, for example, on d5. Or yeah, exactly. But so uh, the knight still has a long way to go, but... No, I mean, g3, king, g2, and then the knight can just prance around. This is a free pawn, right? Does that work? Queen takes c5, b4 is the idea, but then simply king h2 and white should be winning. Yeah, king h2 and white should be winning. Yeah, nicely done. B3, knight takes B3. If queen A3, then uh, queen C4. Just put a knight on B3, and it should be it should be winning point. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, this should be an, uh, an easy. Uh... Ah, this is this is the the brilliant player. This is uh, Kanil once again. Oh, this is uh, Miss Brilliant. Yeah, beating everyone left and right. So queen C3, I guess, just take. Get, collect the sea pawn and it should be winning. It should be over. Yeah. Now you can just uh, start marching towards it. King, yeah. king, king, king. You can never promote. All right. Nice game. Yeah. Very nice ending. Perfectly executed. And uh, let's look at this one. This is getting into some time uh, trouble for white. Yeah. This is winning for white. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of time trouble though. I've had rook endings like this before, and it's it's so unpleasant to have a pawn on d6 like that. Rook d7. Uh, yeah. Um... So because after take take, oh hold on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just take take yeah. and uh, just a g3 or something. You have to you have, you have to watch out and think. Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna promote. You can uh checkmate. <clears throat> Queen takes. Okay, but this is now you can take. Now yeah, you can take b six because this is a mate. Yeah, mate on the back rank. Now it's equal again. Rook takes b six. Yep. Yep. It's a draw. It's a draw. That's a draw. draw. Yeah, really annoying to play against. Absolutely uh, pitiful. This is a draw. With a lot of things ending right here. This one ended as well. Oh, she was playing a meme. Oh. <laughs> it's the username. This one has ended in a draw. This one we were just watching. Where is the time discrepancy the most? This one. We Make have well, black is winning this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, this one white should be winning quite clearly. Yeah, Camille, once again. This one, I'm gonna give it to black here. Oh, actually, yeah, black. It's easier to play for white, but because they have this pawn, it's Too easier. Queen e7, yeah. perfect. It pre prevents everything. King g7, queen e6, c4. Yep. Yeah, looks, looks nice. Looks perfect for black. But time control. Time. Yeah, control. yeah, yeah. That's the uh, that's the main issue. We've had some disconnections as well. Uh, four white bars on the connection, so looking good. No connection problems there, it seems. You hate to see those. Yep, you do. Queen d7, why not trade some queens? Yeah, no. this is... Uh... Material up. Queen d1, queen d5 wins the rook now. Oh, nicely spotted, dude. Holy moly. Thanks, I do a lot of puzzle rush, you know? What a machine. So uh, everybody do, needs to do puzzle rush. This one is over. He does things really, really quickly. Game over, ladies and gents. Yeah, there we go. Music Nation, where you stand? Which ones? Only a few more games left. This Only is a, a very uh, common end game. So this one's gonna go. Oh, Eminem! Eminem is still playing the rock end game. Yeah, easy draw now. Rook f4, king g5, repetition. Done. Please. Over. Please, Killian. Killian, Ern, give us a break. Please. Yeah, did you say Eminem, by the way? Amadem. Amadem. Yeah, not, ah. that's, his, uh, <laughs> that's his Twitch username. <laughs> I was just checking. I also, yeah, in the chat, Eminem. I also heard Eminem for some reason, but yeah, Amadem. Amadem. Not Amsterdam, but Amadem. Okay, I'm making it more confusing. Amadem okay. 2013. There we go. Call the draw. 
and this is an easy win. So we have one game left, which is also an easy win. So all results are there. We have the game. Oh, we have this beautiful game. Oh yeah, this was the yeah, announcement. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. All right, GGs, everyone. This was round number six. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna chill a little bit until we get the scores, so we can show you. Uh, immediately, Monaco and South Korea has to be updated. Japan versus New Zealand has to be updated. Singapore, Albania, uh, one game left has to be updated. I'm not sure if Singapore won or if Albania bounced back because they were 2 0 behind. Mm -hmm. Ireland, Malaysia, and Syria, Hong Kong. We're just waiting a little bit for the results. What I can show you, ladies and gentlemen, for those who just joined, look at this one. Anish Giri with the tweet, FIDA Online Olympia starts in only about a week for Team NL. But our Dutch boys took over the broadcast already. Fire emote. Flag emote. Hashtag online Olympiad. Uh, if you wanna I wanna I'm gonna search Twitter feed in the break if you have a nice tweet. Hashtag online Olympiad and I might throw it in here just for the fun. This was round number six. Like I said, they are still being updated. Let's look at the pool real quick. Who do we have uh, in this bracket? Uh, Ireland, everybody. A lot of fans for Ireland and New Zealand, it seems, in chat. So that's, uh, that's a good one to wake up to, seeing your team is going to win. And also, Chad, we were talking about Geary. He's one of the top 10 players that will be joining us uh, next week. You'll be playing, and the rest is the top divisions that we'll be playing as well, uh, which is two weeks from now. So some, uh, some very nice kind of games going in for sure. Um, can you talk us a little bit, Wuland? Yeah. Can you talk us a little bit about what the online Olympiad actually is? Yes, of course. Well, it's a huge event with a lot of countries participating, of course, 163 and with 1500 players total. Yeah, we've seen in the previous divisions also some countries that I've never even heard of before. So it's very nice to see how much chess is being played throughout the world in almost every country available. Yeah, okay, so teams are split into five divisions. We are currently in the third one, and it's based according to strength and to uh, time zone as well. So yeah, time zone is very important. You don't want to have a team playing in the night versus a team playing in the morning or in the afternoon. The afternoon team will have a big advantage, so that is why. By the yeah. way, I'm going to have to cut you off real quick. I apologize for that, but we do have two more games in the B pool. The B pool B1 started at the same time as the A1. This one just ended in a draw, and this is the last game going on. But we can show the results real quick. Scotland right. beating Nigeria 6-0. I'm not sure if that's a default win again, or they just beat 6-0. I'm going to have to ask uh, my organizer that. Tajikistan lost to Sri Lanka. UAE, uh, a win over Chinese Taipei. Angola lost to Botswana. And I... PCA, which is the International uh, Physical Disabled Chess Association, is playing Portugal. Those will be updated real soon. We're now looking at Chinese Taipei versus UAE. And it looks like a uh, should be a win for white, right? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I also wanted to mention about Scotland-Nigeria match. Nigeria in the previous days has forfeited uh, the games. And also in this match in with against scotland they forfeited three games so scotland was 3-0 up even before the match started but still they won the other three boards so good result for scotland nonetheless what about this game what, uh, what am i missing you can just play king of eight right yeah is exactly. the check here you're gonna go here and then it's it's done if yeah, the check so here points. you go king e8 um yeah queen e5 check queen e5 oh wrong one Queen e5, I meant queen e7. Uh, and now you don't have to check anymore on c5 if you go back here. That's true. Queen b5. Queen b5, like I said, I'm just going to go to f8. Time to annoy you. Queen b8. Queen b8, I'm going to go to f7. Queen b3. Queen b3, I'm going to go to g6. Queen 
B1. Oh, B1. Okay. Okay, so it's not that easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, these, these, uh, what, what's beautiful about these endings is that you can play this forever. It's so hard, especially in time control. So. Uh, to defend for black, I mean. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think white's doing a great job here, by the way. Queen g3, only move. King f7. Uh, That's good. King f7, queen c7 is a repetition. But you can play... Man, these are so annoying to play against. Yeah, queen e4, I suppose. Yeah. King h8. King h8. King h8, queen d4. Queen d4, and then you're going to start harassing. Yeah, but I'm not gonna go anywhere. So king. Right. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, is this looking good? I don't know. Well, I think the king needs to go back to h7. I think there's no other way. Or queen e5, a8, by the way. Queen e8 so, here. Oh, this looks good. Six, queen e7. F7. Yeah. Okay. Then we've got the same position we had actually. No, you don't, because you don't have the the queen on this side, and so he's limited to where he can give checks. Yeah, so queen b8. Queen f7. Queen b3. Needs queen e6 to now. Yeah. And now queen g6. And now you don't have any checks. Well, yeah, because queen b1 is met by queen f5. Too. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. So do we see that on the board, king g6 is the winner winner chicken dinner? Yep. Well played. I'll play. There nice. we go. All right. Nicely done. That's a difficult ending, dude. I, it seems so easy. It seems so simple, but there's always this little check. Well, it's it seems hard, but on the other hand, you, you've got so many tries for with white. You, you yeah, can never true. lose that. You can play this for 50 moves, and black needs to play perfect. And queen. Yeah, it's very, very, very... Uh, Get a rook. Disrespect. Oh. Hate to see it. Um. Yeah. All right. Um, so let's we're gonna see that game as it is that one is gonna end anyway I do have an updated results on the standings so let's get that one in here pool A is done for today we have Singapore as the winner they won from Albania I believe yep, yep. Uh, yeah Singapore 4-2 against Albania so uh, that is a good result Malaysia uh, one from Ireland, three and a half, two and a half, and uh, we also have some other results. Japan, New Zealand, New Zealand one, three and a half, two and a half. South Korea one from Monaco, three and a half, two and a half. So a lot of three and a half, two and a half. Syria and Hong Kong have a free free. In the other pool, Portugal is doing very well. Scotland second, Sri Lanka, and IPCA who was first on the first day. Um, second day is dropping now, but there are still a lot of games to play. So. A lot of things to do. Chat. Yep. 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 I wanna look at this. Look at this. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's Boom. go. Chat. I wanna thank you guys so much for being here for now. We're going on a long break, not a quick break, and we'll be back in an hour. And when we'll be back, we'll be back with Pool B and Pool C. So there's a lot of good stuff going on, guys. Thanks so much for watching for now, and uh, we will see you. In an hour. Don't go anywhere. Freshen up a little bit. And uh, see you guys soon.